Happy Tuesday. Good evening. Before I get into the topic, uh, I'd like for if anyone can stay here at least 10 minutes, share the live, smash the like button, uh, share this live out, and smash that like button. All right. Uh, today's topic is easy way to get out of the friend zone is to say no. Hello, Rosie. Smash that like button. How you doing, ma'am? Thank you. Thank you, Rosie. How you been, Rosie? Your day was okay, Rosie? Your day was good? Oh, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Share the live out for King R70. We're going to get into the topic. I don't expect people to stay here that long, but uh, um, thank you so much. All right. Thank you, Rosie. Thank you so much. All right. Uh, today's topic is uh, how to get out of the friend zone. Easy way to get out of the friend zone. Very easy. All you have to do, if you met a lady, whether it's at a beach or you decided to went to California somewhere and you travel from your state by yourself and you met somebody, you got a phone number, you change the number and you got to talk over the phone for about a week or two. And then you, you, you finally told her, look, I got to let this lady know. I, I, I don't want to be in the friend zone. I don't want to be text buddy. I don't want to be phone buddy. So basically what you want to tell her is, uh, if she said, let's just be friend first, tell her no. Because what will happen is it just going to lead towards friend and she never going to give you a chance. Okay. I'm just letting you know up front because I've been there and done that. If you don't tell a woman, you don't, uh, if you don't want to be friend, you will put yourself in a friend zone. Why? Because you agree, uh, to her saying, let's be friend first. Okay. There's nothing wrong being a friend with a woman. I've been friend with women in my time, but it all does, uh, it does nothing for you. Okay. Does nothing for you, and uh, you go be you go be wondering why uh, I can't get a date with her. Uh, you will wonder why I can't have sexual talk with her or be intimate with her. Why? Because you choose uh, to remain friend with her, right? Because women will strain you alone, strain guys alone, just to uh, bait them into being friend first. And what will happen is she will end up liking somebody else. You will be pissed off. Because you've been knowing her a little longer than he is. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. Because I know y'all been there, okay? Uh, don't be scared to say, yes, I did it. I had that happen to me before. Because it happened to me. Okay, so you basically got to tell her up front. No, that's the easy way out of the friend zone and the quickest way out of the friend zone. Don't settle for her nonsense, okay? Don't 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 agree with her plan. Because all she try to do is put you on the burner, on the back burner, while other guys chasing her, going out with her, maybe possibly try to sleep with her. Okay? I'm not saying she is, but those guys who are thirsty, hungry, needy, clean, and desperate, just only want to go out with the lady and sleep with her because she looks good. Maybe she take care of her body. But you, she gave you her number because she's, she finds some type of interest in you. Okay? All right? Or maybe she just want to put you on the back burner while she try to play, play the field or play around. Okay? I'm not going to be with y'all that long. Maybe an hour. Maybe four to five minutes. Okay? It doesn't take that long to spit out this type of uh, information, okay? All right? So when a woman tell you, let's be friend first, tell her no, okay? Now, she may not like your answer, okay? Mm -hmm. she, she may not like your answer, okay? Because you gave it to her, but it is what it is. Let her take it or leave it, okay? Don't let her strain you into... Accepting her friends own friends own bull crap. Okay. I'm just letting you know, right? Instead of paying somebody a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, five hundred dollars for information, you know, like the relationship uh relationship uh specialists, whatever. I'm not talking about coaches, those who charge you a lot of money just to get information. All you gotta do is uh use your common sense, all right? All right, and listen to those who know what they're talking about who have an experience. Okay, why well, spend out five, six hundred dollars on um information where you can get it for free okay i don't ask nobody to donate anything on here i just want my four thousand watch hours and then i take it from there if you want to donate okay it's up to you okay i, can't, I don't force people to do anything that, that uh, they don't want to do all right if the information somehow help you yes then donate all right if it didn't then don't donate it's simple as that 
So be careful of those women try to strain you into uh, allowing you to um, be friends. Okay. Now, if you lovers, okay, that's different. Okay. Like, say, for example, you all take pictures together, your Facebook, you all have a picture of one another, taking pictures of one another, and then you put it up on your Facebook profile or your Instagram or Twitter or whatever social media you might be uh, using at this time. Okay. That's different. I'm talking about those women you just met, got a number. And she's not sure of herself. Why? Because she tried to strain you alone just enough, hoping that you will agree with her plan of being friend first and then put you out in the friend zone. Now, the friend zone is kind of difficult to get out once you're in there. Because basically what she, what, if, what is friend zone? Friend zone is, okay, when I'm bored, I call you. When I have nothing better to do, I call you or text you. It's basically to put you in there. She want to call you when she want to call you and text you when she want to text you. It's basically, she puts you there so if she want to ignore you sometime, she will. Okay? Same way guys put women in the friend zone. Okay? That's basically what friend zone is. She puts you in there, okay, because she will ignore you sometime. Not all the time. Maybe sometimes she might pick up the phone and call you out of the blue and say, hey, what's good? Like, that never happened. Okay? Watch out for that. All right? I hate human beings. Ha ha. Yeah, I know. Uh, Conscious Brandon, how you doing? Welcome to the live. Smash the like button. I hate human beings. Yeah, I, I, we all God's creation. You know, you know how human beings are. You know what I'm saying? We're all different. We do things different, and then we do things sometimes it's not right. Smash that like button for King Art Seventy. All right, I'm gonna be live here for about four to five minutes. All right, so I'm gonna be live here four to five minutes. Smash the like button. Smash the like button. Thank you, baby. Got your a couple of thank you. Right, thank you. So watch out for those who try to uh thank you. But strain you alone just to get you into the friend zone while she go out and run out and have other guys uh drooling over her because she can. Okay. Watch out for those. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Watch out for those that do that, all right? Because all she's doing is trying to strain you alone. Just to get a, a validation from you, okay? And then when things don't work out between the guy who like her, right? Then she want to come running back to you, okay? So you got to watch out for that. That's the reason why women put guys on the back burner. Sometimes uh, people call it a monkey branch. You know, monkey branch meaning she moving from one guy to another. Uh, basically, you see them like this. You ever seen a monkey grab the branches and they, they go like that? They call it monkey branches. Okay, she try to uh, juggle five, six, eight, ten guys, okay, because she, I know a lady that I, I date, I date now, she used to have uh, about 15 to 20 guys in her phone contact, hey, Holly Farm, how you doing, smash the like button, dear, I did watch some of your videos over the weekend, this past weekend, all right, how you doing, Holly, I finally hit 500, congratulations, congratulations to Holly, Holly is the youngest, the baddest, Youngest YouTuber on King Art 70 and anybody else platform. Congratulations to you, Holly. I'm so proud of you. Keep going. You'll get that thousand in no time. Okay. You keep going where you're going, you'll get it before the summer's end. Okay. You just got to keep at it. Hello, Donna. How you doing? Hi, King Art and chat. Uh, I like the stream. Thank you, Holly. Thank you so much, dear. I appreciate you. Appreciate you. You keep going, Holly. Uh, don't forget. Uh, oh, you already subscribed to. Um, uh, Legendary Johnson. I will be putting some more videos up, but I'm gonna start focusing on my my real channel because I'm uh, I'm almost done with the hours, and I'm going to put up some Mortal Kombat 11. I'm gonna still be doing these type of uh, videos. All right. Um, you're welcome. I already uh, did. Okay, thank you, Holly. Uh, Conscious Brandon. I see you change your name. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, people always change their name. Yeah, but so when a woman Try to put you into the friend zone, tell her no, okay? Because all she try to do is try to see that you agree with her plan, with her saying, let's be, be friend, okay? Now, that's not wrong being a friend, be friend with a woman, okay? But you got to be careful because you don't want to end up in the friend zone and then you go wonder why I can't be, I can't talk sexual to her. Because why? At that time, she's going to look at you as a brother and as a close best friend. You don't want to be her best friend. You can be her best friend and be lovers, okay? That's how you want to be friend with a woman, okay? You, you get her and tell her, look, all right, I want you, 
okay? And I don't want nothing else, nothing but us to be together and get to know one another, okay? You don't want to put yourself in the friend zone. A lot of guys put themselves in there because they totally agree with the warm up saying, yeah, I do like to be friend first. Nothing's going to happen, I'm telling you. Yeah, you can be friend and talk to her every day and hang out or whatever. Even if you hang out with her, okay, she can still put you in the friend zone. Okay, that, that's because uh, you say, yeah, okay, I agree with her being, in, uh, being friend. She can still put you in the friend zone and nothing can never, ever happen because I've been there and done that. Basically, what she's doing, she's using it as a hangout buddy. Don't You don't want to be a friend with a woman and be a buddy to her where she might like somebody else and then she'll be complaining to you about how this dude give, giving her attitude. Then in other words, what you'll be, you'll be a, uh, you'll be a shoulder where she can cry on. Okay, you don't want to be that guy. Okay, uh, you don't want to be that guy that have a have a shoulder for her to cry on. And you know you like her. Okay, you know you like her, but you agree to her plan to be friend first. Tell her no. Okay, so what? She'll get over. Okay. What you need to do when you tell her no, keep your keep your word and walk away from her. Say, look, I told you, I didn't want to be friends. All right, all right, I'm not gonna be friend with you. I don't do the friend thing. Just let her know that you're not gonna do the friend thing, okay? That's unacceptable. Tell her no and then walk away. All right, and she will contact you. Right, you gotta hold that, you gotta hold your ground. And if she, well, where you going? Say, no, I gotta go. I gotta go. I gotta go. I will talk to you later. Uh, you don't have to tell her when you go talk to her. Just let her know. That you uh um, you are fearless and you're not gonna accept her plan of being in the friend zone. Okay, so get yourself out of the friend zone before you even get in there in the first place. Okay, uh, Donald just being real said, "I see you change your name." Yeah, that's he came in there and he said he hate humans. Ah, ha, ha. But you know how humans are. Humans are human. You know, there's nothing we can do about it. Everybody are different. So we just gotta uh, yeah you 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 just have to with it. That's how people are. No, you can't. I can't worry about how people are at and how they are. I can't change it, but that's the way people are, right? So, well, here's one thing you can change: uh, not letting a woman, not allowing a woman to put you in the friend zone. Okay, you don't want her to do that to you. All right, don't ever, ever. I mean, ever let a woman trick you and connive you or manipulate you into the friend zone. Because once you get in there, it's hard to get out. Okay. And the only way to get out is to stop contacting her. If you ever get that far and deep in the friend zone, your best best is to totally stop all contact. Email, text message, phone call, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, whatever social media you might be using at this moment. Stop contacting her. Okay. And you have to outweigh her. And if you don't outweigh a woman, guess what? You lose. What do I mean by outweighing her? Contact. Don't contact her. If she try to outweigh you, which she will, if she try to outweigh you by a week or two, wait a whole month. If she try to outweigh you a whole month, wait two months, three months, four months, five months, six months, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. That's a year. And keep going. She will give in and say, wow, you know, this guy, he liked me. He told me I wanted to be his friend, but he told me no. Exactly. Just be around positive people. That's right. Just be around positive people, all right? Because people go come into the lie and they're going to say what they want to say. I hate human beings. But you can't throw me off my topic because I'm totally focused, okay? You have a right to your own opinion. Thank you for still coming into the live, making a comment because every comment counts. Okay, I don't, I'm not, I'm not going to kick him out because he said you hate human. But it is the way how people perceive other people. Uh, one of my professors told me in the college one time when I was in Bible college, he said, Arthur, you know, people get so so easily offended because sometimes people receive, uh, sometimes people receive things the wrong way. And I said, what you mean, uh, Professor? He said, let's say, like, if I tell you, Arthur, uh, I thought I told you uh, to, to finish up your, uh, your homework and not wait to come in here and try to do it. You know, some people might think that's rude or some people may think he's being a little harsh and, and, and hard on me. No, he was saying, you should have done that while you're at home. Don't wait till you come into class, because class is where you get your where you get graded at. Okay. And and I understand what he's saying. So sometimes people, it's depending on how you receive it. Okay. It depends on how you receive it. Like I had a guy today at my job, and I was out getting a blue car and I was bringing them back in because customer used it for product. And I'm gonna get back on the topic, right? And um, 
he just pulled up. I'm walking away with the blue cards, two blue cards. He yells out of the car on the screen, hey, hey, you. I turned around. I didn't say nothing. I looked around slow. Yes, you took that cart from that parking lot, and you know I was coming to get it. He's trying to manipulate me, and you did it. Like that, he was pointing. Now, if I received it the wrong way, like he was being rude, I would have probably got mad and fight him. So I didn't do that. So I said, all right, sir. I said, well, sir. I said, hey, what you got to understand? These cars cannot be in the parking lot because people park their cars and trucks and stuff out here. I said, my job, part of my job is keeping the lot free of carts, especially the blue carts, because too many people got their car back with the blue carts by our customers. So it's my job to get them out of the, out of the parking spot. An area surrounding the rails so people can park properly. Okay. Well, that sucked. And then I'm, I said, all right, sir, if there's anything I can do for you, I'm going to walk away. Okay. So he go, Did you hear me talking to you? I said, Okay, sir. Now you're getting a little, I said, Now you're getting a little rude. I said, um, I said, You know what? I'm just going to walk away. Walk away from the guy because he's negative right now. He's mad. Maybe he, somebody pissed him off or whatever the reason was. So I walked away and then he said nothing to me after that. All right, anyway, so that's what I'm saying. Uh, be around positive people. Don't be around people who are negative and complaining and miserable. So the same thing with this girl, okay? A woman or whoever you want to date, okay? If she try to put you in the friend zone and try to say, let's be friend, for, let's be friend first, tell her no. Especially if you're feeling her. Now, be it as it may, she may not be feeling you like that. So that's a possibility probably why she did that, okay? But she, she wants to hold on you. She wants to hold on you for some reason. Okay, maybe as a backup, just in case none of the guy that she might be into, or it could be a guy that she really like. That's why she said, you know what? Arthur's okay. He's cool. But I think I'm gonna try out Kevin. Kevin seems more more uh more outgoing, more sex appeal, more swag, or more funny funnier than Arthur. Okay. So I'm gonna just go put Arthur in the friends on. I know he liked me. Now that's why girls think. A women thing. Uh, I'm just gonna let them know that we can just be friends and then leave it like that. Put them on a back burner, okay? For now, okay? So she'll that's why she'll come and say, oh, "Well, I'm I'm thrilled that you like me. I'm thrilled you want to get to know me a little more than just friends. But all I can do right now is be friends for now. I'm not. She'll lie and say she's not ready for a, a relationship, all right? Because some women that do that, so you got to be careful, all right? So she'll say, uh, "I'm not ready for a relationship, but we can be friends. We can work towards." being something. Don't listen to that. That's, that's a bunch of lie, okay? That's her way of telling you, or trying to manipulate you, put you into the back burner so she can go out and drool over other guys who she are feeling or making her vagina tingle, okay? All right? In her mind. So don't do it, okay? I didn't say the word vagina, but yes, it is. There's some guys out there that can make a woman's vagina tingle, okay? All right? Um, so that's why she tried to put you in the friend zone, because She's into this other guy who seen cool, calm, and collective. But sometimes those guys who seems cool and calm, collective, they are jerks. Okay, they are jerks. Okay, and they just want to get in the lady pants, and then after they get what they want, then they hang out to dry, and then they leave her hanging, and they tell other guys how they got it. Okay, I know there. I know what I'm talking about because I've been there and I've done the same damn thing, but alpha male does and high value male does. Okay, or guys who try to be players. Laughing out loud, what you say, King Art? That's a bunch of lies. What? What? Laughing out loud, what you say, King Art? That's a bunch of lies. What is a bunch of lies, Donna? Speak to me. Speak, 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 or ever hold your peace. Speak. What are you saying is a bunch of lies, Donna? Come on, bring it to me. So women will lie to you sometimes. Don't let nobody fool you. They won't lie. They will lie. Women do lie. It ain't all main fault. Women lie as well as men. You say that. Say what? About women lies and try to put you in the friend zone? I'm just laughing how you say that. Oh, okay. All right. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, Miss Donald. I'm just laughing how you say it. Yeah, I, I, I hope Google don't remove it because I, I, I didn't want to say the other words, so I just say vagina. Yeah, vagina. Yeah. So there's some guy can do that, okay? Didn't know how to plant that seed in her mind and make her think. You know, this guy, he's sex appeal. You know, he know how to talk to a woman. He got swag. 
He dressed right. His shoes is on point. His clothes is on point. His his hygiene is on point. His teeth nice and healthy and clean. He don't have hygiene in his mouth, bad breath, you know, you know, stuff like that. Women pay attention to that. Okay. He know how to carry himself and he he he's, he's he don't act miserable. He's confident. Okay, he show up himself, he know what he wants. He's not scared to get what he wants and go after. All right. So that's how women see guys, all right. Now women who try to put in a guy in a friend zone, she basically is putting you on a on the back burner for now, okay? Now possibly that don't mean uh that she won't talk to you from time and time, but when she wants to, okay? It basically she controlling the situation. Okay, that basically means that may you might call her and then she may not answer. Okay, because the lady who I'm dating right now, she had many friends on. That's how I know. Okay, sometimes I call, she won't pick up. Right? Why? Because she don't like me like that. Okay, now she still kind of do that now, but now she don't. She know now I don't play now. Okay, when that time last time she did that, she won't do it again because I didn't contact her for about three three months. Right? She knows. Okay, sometimes she won't answer if I call, but you know what? I give her the benefit of a doubt. I give her a little space, and then she'll pick up the phone and start calling and talk and start talking to me. Okay, because she know I only go put up with her, I only go put up with her so much, right? I only go put up with her so much, and she knows that I don't play. Okay, so when a woman tell you guys, okay, let's be friend, don't do it. Easy way and one way, one word to tell her. Is to tell her no. I got four people into the chat. Smash that like button for King Art 70. Smash the like button for King Art. Okay. Got four people into the live. Smash the like button for King Art 70. All right. So tell her no. Tell her you don't you you, you don't want to be friends. Okay. You don't believe in that stuff. Now I remember when I was dating my wife, right? Let me tell you a true story. And I'm not gonna call her name. I'm not gonna meditate on that long. Right. And um she didn't want to date me. Right. We was going out. We were, I think we were messing around or something, you know. And um, so I say I didn't tell her uh, I want to be a, a, a boyfriend. She she insists that we should date. And I said, all right, then let's see how things work out. And then we let me think on it, okay? So we agreed to it. And so we started dating. And then we started having a little, you know, a little in, in, intercourse before we got married. And then one one Thursday night, she said, uh, she called me out of the blue. She said, hey, uh. I just want to be a friend, right? Because she didn't want to date no more because she was wishy-washy. She was back and forth. So I told her over the phone, I said, no, I'm not going to be a friend. If I had to be your friend, then it, it's over. I told her just like that. I don't want to be a friend. I don't want to be a friend because it's a waste of my time, number one, and you're not going to call me when you want to call me and pick up the phone when you want to pick up. I don't have time for that. You want to be a friend, go find somebody who's a, who's impatient, who don't have patience for women, who can't wait on your phone call, okay? Because I'm not dealing with it. I got better things to do. I could be talking to somebody else. Why Why should I wait on you? You put me in the, on the back burner, okay? And then drool over other guys who want you, you know what I'm saying? What are they going to do for me? That's not benefiting me. It's benefiting her, okay? So that's why she put you in the friend zone, because it'll benefit her. It'll give her bowel time to talk to other guy who she might be interested or guys might be in, into her. So she puts you in the pattern stool and not the other guys, okay? Why she sit here in a monkey branch from guy to guy and why you sitting there wondering and where she at, who she's talking to, who she's hanging out with, which I don't really recommend a guy shouldn't be worried what a woman's doing in a way. You should be on your you should be on your purpose. Focus on your um your goal, was it a YouTube channel, was it getting your education, was it putting yourself in shape, okay, or getting in shape, or doing something for yourself, or try to open up your own business, or making more money to succeed your financial goal, or working on your credit. There's many things you can keep yourself occupied while you still go out and, and talk to women. I tell guys, talk to at least five women a day, okay? Talk to at least five women a day. Now today, actually, uh, I was at work today, and it was it was raining. One of the ladies that I know, and she's a white girl. Her name is uh, Jennifer, right? And that's the one that I that gave me the bottle hug, and I didn't I couldn't read this, the bottle hug sign that well. So I saw her today. She saw me from a fall off. So I was coming through the, the devil's glass door in order to those that automatically open up. So she looked, she stopped, she paused. She all she did was like that. She reached her arm out, and I just walked right on over there and gave her a nice 
nice hook. She kissed me on my no, my neck. And I held her for about a couple of seconds. And um, you know, I put my I had my arm around her, her back. Right, she was just giggling and laughing. She was blushing. Cause I had my hand still behind her back. I was talking to her, and I was kind of like holding her like this behind her back. And she's like, she's about that wide in the waist. I mean, she's not fat. She's slim. She eats right. And I said, so where you been? Well, you know, I was telling her, she said, oh, I've been here. And I, 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 I was hoping I'd run across you. I said, oh, I said, that's cool then. I said, I'm glad you did run across me. And she said, that's good. She said, what time do you get out of work? I said, I get out at, uh, get out at 6 o'clock. She said, listen, listen, I ain't going to hold you up. She said, listen, I'm out of work now. I got to work, uh, work at 4 o'clock. I said, yes, what's up? She said, if you up for it, she said, meet me at Starbucks for a cup of coffee or whatever. I said, all right. Me didn't stop up for a cup of coffee, right? All right? This is the one that I couldn't read the bottle sign, right? So I went over there where I said, all right, I'll meet you at the work. She said, well, uh, you getting out at, at 6 o'clock, right? I said, yeah, 6 o'clock. She said, okay, it's 525. She said, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go get some gas in my car, and I got to go I gotta go to the shopping shop and pick up a couple of items. I said, all right. Uh, they're not pressure items. It's like cleaning items. I said, all right, so that gave you a little bit of time until I get out. She said, yeah, something like that. She said, what I do, I'll... I go to uh, Starbucks and I wait in the car, and uh, about you know ten minutes up to uh, six, then you should be pulling in the parking lot around about six. six I said, yeah, in the parking lot. So she waited in the car. And I got out of work, put my work clothes on, and she was waiting in the car. And then I got out, and then uh, I walked up to her. I said, hey, I'm here. She got out. Uh, the door was open, so I opened the door for her. At home. I opened my car door, and then I shut it back. She went out window. Open the outside door. This ain't my date now. This is a lady that that, that I met years ago, or a couple of years ago, at my job. So the white girl, right? The white woman. So she go, oh, okay, let's go in there and sit down. So I went and sit down. Uh, she, I think she had a, a cup of coffee, small cup of coffee, whatever. And I had a small, but I didn't want to get all that coffee, so you start talking. So she said, you know, I don't know, if you know how to read bottle sign, but I was, um, I was giving you a hint that I like you, but I just want to. I don't think it's your fault. I think you, you didn't know how to read them. I said, yeah, I didn't know how to read them. I said, can I be honest with you? Will you be mad at me? She said, no, I, I, that's why I, I invite you over to talk to you about that. I have four people into the chat. Smash the like button, guys. Don't leave without smashing it. Smash the like button, okay? So she said, yeah. Uh, I said, yeah, so um, she said, so, so, what do you want to do? I said, well, I'm, I'm dating somebody, but we're not exclusive. Well, like that. She said, oh, okay, then um, let me give you my number. So she gave me her number. I put it in my phone. I gave her my phone, my iPhone, gave her my number. And she put it in her phone. And then she said, uh, okay, then we go uh, schedule something. She said, what kind of food you like? I said, I like dino food. You know, she said, good, we can we can schedule something for uh, next Sunday or Saturday if you want. I said, oh, next Saturday I got a date. I can't, I've been honest with her. I do have a date, but we're not exclusive. She said, well, what time your date is? She said, my date is at uh, 6 o'clock. She said, I'll tell you what. Let's just do Sunday. I said, okay, do Sunday. This Sunday. So Sunday around four, four thirty, we're going to um we're going to a diner right, in Danbury, Connecticut, where I work at. All right. So I did that. So um so um, we talked a little bit and then, um she said, I know you're tired, so let me let you go. Uh, so we, I spent about forty five minutes with her. And um she got up and I gave her a nice hug and she kissed me on the cheek. And it was in a public place and I kissed her back on the cheek and then she said, I see you there. She said, uh she said, give me a, she said, text me later. I said, all right, I'll text you later. I'm going to text her when I get off, when I get off live. So we go, I'm not going to text her that much. But I, I, I drop a couple of lines, all right, let her know. I told you I'm not going to wait around nobody. If my date going to act up, I'm gone. If she don't cooperate, I'm gone. I told you, I don't, I, I'm not a joke. I don't play around with women, guys. I don't, I don't, I don't play around with women. I don't let them put me in the friend zone. Now, there's some women that's not going to feel you, and she ain't going to feel you, then there's nothing you can do about it, okay? You just gotta let her go. Okay, she ain't feeling you like that, so you just gotta say, okay, she don't like me like that, so let me just keep going, keep it moving, keep pushing, all right? And um, like people, like some people say, if she don't want you to be, uh, if you don't want to be friend with her, all right, just tell her to go kick rocks. Okay, you're not gonna waste your time. Why well, should you waste time on somebody who you like? All right, and she may not like you like that. I know we can't make people like us and be attracted to us, but that's the way you can build up attraction. Uh, all you gotta do is tell her no. You don't have to. Like, remember, I told you guys, if a woman take, uh, if a woman uh, turn you down and say, "Let's be friends," or "I'm not interested," don't ever show anger. Don't don't never show an expression on your face 
Be cool, calm, and collected as it, as it didn't bother you, okay? Be cool, calm, and collected, all right? Don't let it bother you. Don't let it bother you. So what you want to do is say, okay, uh, I already let you know that I'm not going to be friends. I don't do the friend thing, okay? Uh, I'm here, and I mean business. Let her know that you mean business, okay? You're not here to be a little text buddy and phone buddy and, and talk to her when she's bored. Talk to her when one of the guys that she really drooling over pisses her off, and then she decides she want to call you to get to to help you to get him off her, of her mind. Okay, you don't want to be that. You don't want to be that guy who she cries on his shoulder because the guy ain't like a jerk. Okay, don't be that guy. Okay, because all you are is a is a um, is a um, not a social worker, but uh, but a counselor for her. You know, a counsel person. All right. To hear her problem. You're not a counsel person. You were once, you got her phone number and she just tried to put you in the friend zone. So when things go sour and, and not right with the guy she might really like, okay, and then she's going to bring you your problems, bring her her problems, all right, to the guy that she picked over you and hoping that you will talk to her about the problem. No, you're not her counsel, all right? You're not her counsel. Tell her to go kick rocks. So the first thing you want to do is tell her no. You don't do the friend thing. Just tell her that. You don't have to be mean about it and nasty about it. Say, look, I don't mean no harm. All right? I'm not doing this to hurt your feelings. I, I I thank you for being honest, but I can't do the friend thing. I can't. All right? I just can't. Just tell her that. King R, I have a question for you. Go right ahead, Donna. Spit it out there. Spit that question out, all right? So don't let her do this to you, okay? Don't let no woman do this to you, no matter what color they are, whether it's black, white, green, purple, green, okay? You are human. You have feelings as well. She has feelings. You think she really give a darn about you? No, she don't. If she did, she wouldn't tell you to let's be friends, okay? So, like, again, you can't make a woman to fall in love with you, okay? We, we, I get it. I understand. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying post yourself on her. So you don't want to do that, okay? Because it becomes harassment, all right? And then stalker. And then next, you're a crazy person. Okay? And then she'll call the cops on you. And then you might get arrested or you might get a uh, restraining order. Okay, don't be a stalker, right? If she say no, tell her no, and then you walk away from her. Okay, and then you talk to five women a day. What do I mean by five women a day? That means even if you don't get their phone number, even if you did get two out of the five, okay, or three out of the five, that's still good. Because you letting her know that you are active and you are fearless. And you're not going to let her, just because she asked you to be in the friend zone or rejected you, let her stop you from talking to other women. Okay? So you have to be confident. Okay? Be confident about everything. Right? Uh, let her, let your presence be made known to that lady and other women. Let that woman who, who tried to put you in the friend zone, let her know that you are fearless. And let her know that your presence is real. Okay? Okay, King Art, when a man meets a woman. Okay? Okay, King Art. When a man meets a woman, she tell him, I don't mind dating, but I'm not looking for a serious relationship. What is you? What is your interpretation of it? Okay, let me read this again. Okay, King Art, when a man meets a woman, she tell him, I don't mind dating, but I'm not looking for a serious relationship. What is the interpretation of it? Well, what she's telling the guy is, uh, I'm not dating. I'm not going out on a date because I want to get to know you more. I'm just dating other people. I'm dating many guys, multiple guys. That means she keeping her option open. If I was him, I you know give it a chance because you never know things might change. You know maybe she it's depending on how you present yourself to the lady. Now she might say that. Now if that guy know how to present himself right, he can win her over. If it was me, I wouldn't go out on a date with him. I say it would be wasting my time. Okay, so basically what she's telling the guy. Look, I'm dating, okay, but I'm not looking for nothing serious right now. I'm going to keep my option open, okay? That's what she's saying to the guy. She got her option open, all right, and she will date as many other guys whom she can, whether they white, black, green, or purple, okay? That's basically what she's telling the guy, okay? Now, some guy will still go out with her, but me, I, won't, I wouldn't go out with her because that would be a waste of my time, okay? I'm not going to waste time with a woman who just wants to date, okay? I don't have the time. To dine, a, to dine a woman who's not my woman. It doesn't make sense. Only woman that should be dying and wine is your girlfriend 
and your wife. Okay, I repeat, only woman you should be dining. All right, I mean spending expensive money on. If your girlfriend and your wife. Why? Because that girlfriend is your woman. Hey, Phyllis Brown. How you doing? Welcome to the chat. How you doing, ma'am? Thank you for coming into the uh to the live. How you doing today? You doing good? So I hope that cleared that up, Donna. All right. Speak to me. You quiet now. Speak to me. What about if the uh oh Donna's spreading it? Donna is throwing rocks at me, guy. How about a duck? All right. Donna said, Donna just being real said, what about if the guy feels feels the same the same way she feels, then it is okay. Yeah, it's okay. If he don't wanna if he don't wanna if he ain't looking for a date, okay, basically he's keeping his option open. So what this is saying on both sides, I'm not gonna limit myself to one guy. It's too many guys I in the world. I say this all the time in my podcast. If you listen to it closely, I tell people all the time. Don't limit yourself to one guy, okay? Date as many guys as you can. Why? Because he's not your girlfriend. He's not your boyfriend, all right? Yes, I am. Hey, that's good, Phyllis. Thank you. The most loyalty for life. The most loyalty woman on God's green planet and the most loyalty woman on YouTube history, okay? Phyllis Brown, everybody. That's my, that's my, that's my uh, sister and Donna, all right? Donna, just being real, said, hi, Phyllis, beautiful. Hello, my, uh, hello, my sweetheart. Yeah, uh, 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 Donna and um, Phyllis Brown is not a joke. Thank you. Thank you, ladies, for coming into the chat. I appreciate you. I love y'all with a great deal and a great, uh, great heart. Okay, I have other questions, King. Uh, go ahead, Donna, because I know you're going to be throwing any question at me. I know it was coming. I know your question was coming. Go ahead and throw them at me. Just don't throw stones. <laughs> Just don't throw stones. So, uh, laughing out loud. That's right. Ah, laugh my ass. All right. So, uh, bring no question on here. That's what I want to do. Bring them out. Spit it out. Don't be scared to spit them out, Donald. Spit them out like you're spitting tax. All right. So, don't let her strain you along and try to put you in the friend zone. Because she want to go out and, 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 and do monkey branching. You know, bounce from one guy to guy, okay? You don't have to deal with that. You can tell her no. Just like what Donna said. If she, if she didn't want to deal with the guy, she should have told him in the, in the beginning, look, all right, I'm not looking for nothing serious. I'm just, I'm seeing other people. Or I'm just dating people. Then that would be understandable, okay? Because guys don't know better. Certain guys don't know better. They're thinking because she giggles and, she, and he laughs at all her jokes. His jokes. That uh, she lacks him like that, okay? But he got to be careful. Spit the spit that information out, Donna. Y'all smash that like button for your uh, King Art Seventy. All right, Donna got another question. Donna just being real said, "What could be a reason why a man in a relationship for a year in his twenty he fall out of love with her?" It's because he met somebody else, all right? Something that she's not doing right. Maybe she's lazy. Okay, maybe she's a, a a couch potato. Maybe she don't do the thing that she she used to do with him. That could be many reasons why a guy will fall back from his girlfriend. Um, no, baby, I haven't eaten yet, but I'm lying. Right. He is in his. If he's in uh, guys, or any guy can actually fall back from a woman. It doesn't mean her, you don't have to be 20 years old for a guy to lose interest in a woman. A man can lose interest in a woman if she... Here's what kills a guy's interest. Sometimes, a real woman talks sometimes. You know, you. I, I've been through this already. Uh, what are you doing? I didn't tell you to do that. You know, something like, sometimes that'll kill her interest. It'll kill his interest level in her. Maybe her attitude sucks. Okay, he tried to maybe he tried to talk to her about something and she snapped at him or she always rude, disrespectful. Or she she probably embarrassed him at a public table or a public spot. And sometimes guys, uh, those guys easy to get offended. 
or 20 years old. So I don't recommend dating a 20 year old uh, because, in my opinion, I'm not saying they I'm not saying they're ready to date, but they don't have patience. Okay. All right. I put my oldest son on blast today. He just broke up with his girlfriend over the weekend. Okay, well, it could be a reason why something that she probably did that pissed him off. And, you know, women do things sometimes that gets on guys' nerves. And sometimes if she being a little rude and like she don't care. And sometimes girls ignore their boyfriend and guys don't like that. Okay. A lot of times young girls are, are, are very ultra mental. They like to argue. So some guys don't like that. All right. She said, I put my oldest son on the blast today. Oh, wow. He just broke up with his girlfriend over the weekend. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Then he said, oh, by the way, I want you to meet the new lady I met mom. Yeah, that's what I told you earlier. It could be a reason uh, he met somebody new. Remember you asked me that first question? It could be that he met somebody new. He get, he got tired of the uh, the BS. All right, of the old relationship. And these why I know because I did it. I did it before. Yeah. So thank you for the question, Donald. Uh, when you asked me that first question, I said it could be a reason he probably met somebody, met somebody up. So that's probably what he did. And he did. All right. Because sometimes women can be often, uh, uh, they like to argue. And then the guy, get, the, he get tired of it. All right. Congratulations to him. Oh, shoot. I'm checking my table. I'm sorry, guys. My table. I shook my table. Messing up my video. All right. Um, yeah. So he had found somebody that, well, uh, you know, that he liked probably more than the one that he had. A lot of times, uh, women sometimes get some guy nerves. All right. And then he said, you know what? I don't know how to deal with this. And that's good because all that's showing him. Showing him that he's not gonna put up with women's BS. I wouldn't put up with it either. And the same thing. That's why I'm talking about. Uh, I'm talking about. Don't let a woman put you in the friend zone. You don't have to put up with her uh, her BS. Okay. You don't have to put up with it. All right. Uh, why he did that? That's why he he uh, did that to the the current girlfriend. All right. Or, or the past. All right. What Donald's saying here? Donald's just being real. Then he said, Mom, you know I was good to her. I took her on a nice date and gave her money for her hair and nail. I just fell out of love. Now I met someone else. Okay, all right, I got you. So he fell out of love. Okay, yeah, that happened. Uh, you know, we do sometimes fall out of love. All right? Okay, and then sometimes it happens. Or sometimes you might find somebody more attractive, more funny, more outgoing than the one that he's taking care of with the nails. My uh, Buying her, you know, taking care of her nails, her hair, her shoes, her clothes. Sometimes you do find somebody a little better, a little nicer, and more appreciated. Okay, that's 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 just the way it is. Okay, it's part of the game. Okay, at least he knows that he can go out and get somebody like that. Now that's a bad dude. Okay, he got his game. His game is on point. Bravo, 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 bravo. Congratulations to him. Congratulations. That means he knows what he's doing. Okay, that's what it means. He knows what he's doing. I don't blame him. Okay, I never fall out of love with somebody, but if they get up, but if they uh, act stupid and start acting silly and start wanting to fight with me, now I usually break up with them anyway. All right, or I'll leave them alone, or I break up with them. Uh, not over a text message, but I call them up and tell them. All right, that it ain't, it ain't gonna work. You know, that's how I break up with women. Right. Okay, but well, some people got different ways to break up with women, girls, or whatever you want to call it. So yeah, so congratulations to him. He broke up with her. Yep. So congratulations to him. I'm proud of him from breaking up with her. All right. He do deserve to be happy. He do deserve his happiness. Okay, he deserved to be happy. And there's nothing wrong with that. So, yeah. 
So tell your son I say congratulations to him for that. All right. So that's what it's all about. All right. Don't let women strain you alone. Don't let women play you like a sucker. All right. Don't let women um use you and put you in the back burner like you like you uh second second pick, a third pick, fourth pick, fifth pick, whatever. All right. Uh, Donna just being real, I will say my sons do, uh, she said, I will say, Donna just being real said, I will say my sons do take their girlfriend on very nice date and buy gifts, like I told them, being faithful. My oldest, he got, he, he not good with my youngest, is faithful. Okay, faithful is good, but when you're faithful, you can trust somebody. What do the word faithful mean? It means trust. Okay, he she he can trust, all right. But that's good to take care of the date because uh you supposed to take care of the woman that is your woman. You don't take care of a woman who you dating. Okay. I I disagree with that. If a woman is not your girl, then you shouldn't be panther her. That's the way I see it. Okay. Now if you mess her on the new and she said, Okay, I'll be your new lady, then that's different. Okay. So don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Okay. If she's not your girlfriend, all right, I'm not saying be cheap. All right, now let's have a theoretical. She she really like you and you really like her. Okay, and y'all not exclusive yet. But yes, you want to impress her. Okay, yes, go out and buy her that nice wine. All right, go out and pay that expensive dinner. Okay, why? Because you want to impress her. Okay, but those that send you one word text messages, hey, hi, maybe so. No, 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 no. Don't do it. Okay, I'm telling you now, don't do it. Don't tell me I told you so because I know what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm 49 years old. I've been there and done that. What you doing? I already did already. Okay, so you ain't telling me that's something that I didn't know yet. All right. Let's see what Donna said. Donna just being real. Sorry. Correction. Okay. Crack it. Fix it. Ha <laughs> uh, ha. I'm I'm just joking. Sorry. Correction. My oldest son has a hard time being faithful. No, my youngest son not into cheating. Okay, that's good. Good for him. Good for him. So your oldest son has a hard time being faithful. So basically, your son, your oldest son, had a girlfriend already, but at the same time, he was talking to somebody else. Okay, and then it kind of got out of hand, and then he dumped her and ended up going with the new woman. So he could be a heartbreaker. I hate to say it. All right, he's he's gonna be bounced from one. He might break up with this one. Okay, he might might date her for about six months, eight. Watch, watch what happens. He might date her for about six months, a ten up to a year, and he go break up with her. All right. So he basically here's the thing when guys do this. Okay, I can take you out on a nice date, spend some money on you, but guess what? If I hate it enough, okay, if I get into your pants, all right, and I get sick and tired of you, I dump you, and then I go with somebody else. I buy her expensive stuff, get into her pants, break up, and find somebody else. That is the way it is, okay? MGO, man's going their own way, doing what they want to do. Why? Because they realize women don't give a who and a damn about them. So why should they give a damn about women? Okay, I'm not knocking women, all right? Don't get me wrong, okay? Yes, heartbreaker. Well said, King. Uh, I think I have to do a video on that. Mm-mm. Shaking my head. You buy not. <laughs> yeah, you better do a video on that and, and um, let me watch it. Smash that like button. I got six people into the chat. Smash that like button. There's no reason why I have uh, four likes. I should at least have about seven or eight likes on that video. Smash that like button for you, uh, King of Seven. Share the live out, guys. Yes, heartbreak. Well said, King of. I think I have to do a video on that. Yes, Donna. Do a video on that. Smash that like button for King of Seven. Uh, I got some good information here before you guys. I've been live for 49 minutes and 15 seconds. All right, smash the like button for King Heart 70. So yeah, you should do a video on that, Donald, and then tell people why why guys break women's heart. Okay, like the song say, "Don't, don't, baby, don't break my heart. No, 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 no. Come on, baby, why you treat me so bad? No, 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 no." Don't I have to treat me so bad? Na 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 na. Don't, don't, baby. Don't break my heart. No, no, no. 
And she said, uh, Donna just being real, say, all oh, joking aside, I feel sorry for the young lady. She was loyal to my son. Everyone he, he seduced me to. I know she is going to get her heart broken. Yes, she will. She will. He will break her heart. I'm not judging. I'm not a prophet. Okay, I'm not a prophet at all. I just, I did the same thing he's doing. Okay, I did it all. I did it all. I did it all. I did it all. But I stopped. As I got older, I stopped and I slowed down and I got tired doing it to women. Women are women do have feelings too. Okay. Uh, we shouldn't do that to women. Women got feelings. Cato Art was good. Was good. Hi, my brother. Smash that like button for your boy. King Art 70. How you doing, sir? Welcome to the live, Cato Endurance. How you been? How you been there? I'm live, guys. You gotta give me a minute. I'm live. What do you want? Okay. All right. You're doing okay? Ha ha. That's good, man. I'm glad you're doing okay. Talk to you later. That's good. Hi, Kato. Yeah, Kato is in the building. I cheated on you and went to Home Depot the other day. What? You better not be cheating on me and then went to Home Depot. Why do men not respond to text or respond with a short, snappy response? It's because he tried to get you to, te uh, to text him more. Yeah, you better not be cheating on me. I work at, I work at, I work at another uh, uh, competition. Uh, she, why do men not respond to text? Why? Why do men not respond to text or respond with a short, snappy response? Is that because he might be busy? He uh, he might be doing something? Or is it a possibility he's probably talking to somebody else? All right? I do it sometimes because in reality, you don't want to send a, a later long, drawn-out text message because it'll, it'll kill attraction. So most men who got experience texting women will say, hello, good morning, Donald. It's Arthur. How you doing today? You know, very short with a question mark. I always leave a question mark at the end of your sentence. Okay. All right. It makes sense. Make sure your grammar is on point. Make sure your text game is on point. And make sure your autocorrect is corrected. Double check it before you send it. Okay. Uh, Phyllis Brown, Donna, I also have a son, 22. I always let them know that my son is a cheater. So if they plan on sticking around, it's all on them. He always telling me to stop. Ha <laughs> ha. You don't say he ain't busy laughing out loud. Probably talking to someone else. Or bread crumbling. Yes, it could be a possibility. He probably talking to somebody else. Like I, like Donna said, that uh, her son broke up with her, with his girlfriend over the weekend. And, and immediately, I told Donna. It could be that he's talking to somebody else. Yeah. yeah I, I won't pass it up. I bet you, I guarantee he's talking to somebody else. All right? That's why his text messages are very short. Uh, Cato and Dawn, get yourself a Christian man. We're too busy digging in the word than digging, a, digging in a woman's pants. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah, I know, right? Get yourself a Christian man. Somebody who loved the Lord, uh, somebody who loved the Lord God with all their heart and all their soul and all their might and everything in their being. Okay, get somebody who loves God. Okay, get somebody who's into God, who loves God's word as much as you love our Father. Okay, that's how you do it. Right, that's how you do it. Get those who love our Father. Okay, God is love, and those that love and worship Him must worship Him in spirit and in truth. So don't let women do this to you. A lot of times people uh, play games because they're talking to somebody else over the phone or text messages, all right? Donna, just being real, uh, Phyllis Brown, thank you for sharing that with me. I feel like doing that, just tricky. Not really my, my, my place to trick. I will give credit. He won't start, he won't strain two at the same time alone. That's right, because... A woman will find out what you're doing. 
my date that I date right now, her boyfriend will try to be smart and try to date somebody on the outside. He lied and told her that his daughter was sick and he had to go out of town. Little did he know that they both have a Instagram account. So he, he took a picture with the other girl and he put it on Instagram, knowing that his girlfriend are linked to his Instagram account. So she found out that he took pictures of him and the new girl on Instagram, and then she find out, and then she broke up with him. So that's the one that I'm dating now, okay? Because he messed up. So she will find out one way or the other. Donald, just being real, Phyllis Brown, still not right to do. That's right. Let him find out on his own. Uh, surely do. If he's a real man, he can just tell me what? Okay. If he's a real man, he can just tell me that. I I can handle it. Drives me crazy, though. I think he knows that. How can I reverse and get him to chase me? What you got to do, stop. Here, let me show you a secret. Come close. Come close. Outweigh him. Outweigh him. I repeat. O-U-T. W-A-I-T. Outweigh him. This means no, no phone call, no text messages, no Instagram, no Facebook, no Twitter, no nothing. Stop contact. Don't contact him at all. I know it will be hard, but you can do it. Talk to other guys. Okay? You don't have to sleep with him. Okay? You can go on a couple of dates. Okay? You can strain him alone to make him chase you. Outweigh him. If he try to... Now, here's the thing. He gonna try to outweigh you now, so you have to outweigh him. If if he outweigh you, that means he beat. If you outweigh him, that means you beat. Now he might try to outweigh you about about three weeks or a month. Okay, try to outweigh him about two months. If not three, if not four, if not five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, a year, whatever it takes for you to outweigh that guy. But in the time past, while you're doing so. Talk to other people. I'm not saying sleep with them. I'm saying stay busy, be busy, be on your purpose, be active, whether it's on YouTube or hanging out with your girlfriends. Talk to five guys a day, okay? If you can give them their phone number and strain them alone, you can put them in the friend zone, okay? Right? If you want that guy to chase you, put the other guys in the friend zone. Maybe go out with one or two that you may like, okay? And the guy who's making you chasing him, He'll end up chasing you. Okay? Let's see what the chat is saying. Donald, I have a daughter, and I put her in that place also. Wow. I am close. Okay. All right. Do, do not contact. Love it up. That's right. How? Don't call. Don't text. Don't email. No phone call. No nothing. No contact rule. Okay, that's all it is. No contact rule. This is an interesting conversation for me to be ha to be have listened to as I do work. Ha ha. Well, if you don't contact him, be by your business, be on your purpose. All right, don't contact him no more. Stop contacting him. Let him come after you. You are the you are the uh, surprise, not him. Okay. Dang, that is hard. It gonna be hard. It was hard for me, and I did it. You can do it. I want him so bad. Then if you want him so bad, you have to let him know that you are not available. Be unavailable. What that mean by being unavailable? Don't be so fast to pick up your phone. Okay? Ignore his phone. Wait. Wait about an hour or two before you pick up the phone. All right? If not, let him call you. Okay, let him call you. Brown, repeat the last comment on your daughter. I am going to die. Laughing out. I know you won't. You won't die. You'll be all right. Uh, Donna just being real. Shortly do. Level up man, mentality physically. Bam. He will be begging. Yeah, Donna. Working on leveling up now. Going to take your advice. Well, level up only mean um to stop chasing him. Stop calling him. Hello, King. Screw 92530. What's good, my brother from another mother? Smash that like button for your boy. 
King Got Seven is live, right in front of you guys here tonight. Uh, Donald, just being real, it always works. You what's going to happen once you level up, start allowing you will attract other men that guy will not be on your mind anymore. So basically what Donald is saying is uh, stop taxing that guy who you chasing and start talking to other guys. It's very simple. All right. Start talking to five guys a day. Smash that like button for King Art 70. I should at least have about seven, eight likes up in here now. Sounds good to me, Donald. Thanks. All right. But smash that like button for King Art 70. All you have to do is stop contacting a guy. You don't have to do a whole lot of stuff. Very easy and simple. Stop stop contacting him. Stop calling him. Stop stop uh, giving him all that uh that energy, okay? Trust me, if you don't if you don't contact him about a month, he will end up chasing you anyway. All right? Sounds good to me, Don. All right. All right, so that's all you got to do. You don't have to do all that extra stuff. Should, should a Christian worry about Old Testament law? Uh, well, all scriptures are given by the inspiration of God. Okay? Uh, you cannot uh, disobey the commandment of, of God. Jesus said, Matthew chapter 5, verse 17. He said, think not I come to destroy the law, but to fulfill it. Okay? So you must obey the law. Okay, the law still in effect. Thou should not kill. Thou should not bear false witness. Thou should not envy thy neighbor's house, uh, main wife, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, the Bible did not get rid of the Old Testament. All scriptures are given by God. Okay, uh, Second Timothy three sixteen. All right, it big. All scriptures are by of God now, so you can't have one without the other. You cannot live up to the New Testament and not follow the Old Testament. Okay. King R, I have other questions for you. Go right ahead. Listen to me. Go ahead. Cato, how about that for a question? My son and daughter means the world to me, but when it comes to being honest, I will ensure that whenever or whomever they are with, they will be honest. That's right, Phyllis. That's right. Always be honest with one another. All right? That's right. Cato's and doing. Second question. Why is every girl on Tinder posing next to an elephant. Ah, it could be a reason. They might like elephants. They might like the elephants. Um, it mean a reason. Maybe uh, they like the elephant on the picture or maybe as a background, I believe, okay? All right? So that, I don't think that have anything to do with dating somebody. I think it is a picture of an elephant, all right? We do know elephants are real, all right? It's God's creation as well as, as us. All right, so God gave Adam the command to take care of every living thing that he had created. Thank you. Oh, I'll get it in a minute. Thank you. <laughs> all, right. So, all right, so God gave man, um, God gave man the uh, ability to have those type of things over his uh, head. Anything, except domestic animal, cats, dogs, uh, you know, a lion's not a domestic animal. That's a, a man eating beast. All right, but your your prescription can be a player. Ever hang up his player hat? Yeah, that's right. He can hang up his player hat. But see, I'm not a player. I just deal with him. I know how to deal with women. I don't sit there and I don't have to bounce from one woman to another. All right, but if she don't cooperate, tell her to go pound sand. Tell her to go kick rocks. Okay, that's just the way it is. All right. Uh, hello, Screw. Yeah, Screw92530 is in the building. Uh, check out Screw. Thank you, Screw, for coming into the podcast. Appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, yeah, so follow the Old Testament. Don't let no one tell you you don't have to follow the Old Testament. That's that's not a lie, right? That's a lie. You have to follow the Old Testament, right? So, so you feel a player can stop being a player if he can. Now, there's some guys will never stop being a player, okay? He may if he gets a good woman, yes, he can. Okay, look what God did to uh, Hosea the prophet. God told Hosea the prophet to go out and marry a prostitute. Okay? And this is a prophet of God. All right. So yes, anything is possible. Okay, never say never. All right. Uh I think an awesome pastor 
everyone will be willing to listen to King. Who else thinks the same? Well, thank you, uh, Mr. Screw, 92530. That is very, very, very generous. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, check out uh, uh, Screw92530. He's family, uh, Donna's family, Phyllis Brown's family. And check out Kato and Dorn. He's, uh, she's, uh, she's into the chat. Uh, Screw92530, that's, a, that's the most. The most nicest something that somebody ever said into my life. I can't believe you said that, but you did. He said, Screw 92530 said, I think an awesome pastor. Everyone will be willing to listen to King. Who else thinks the same? Thank you. So do you guys know each other from YouTube or from real life? Sadly, you know me for rare acting. Yeah, uh, from YouTube, but uh, from YouTube. From YouTube. Yeah, I think I think you will make an awesome pastor king. Everyone will be willing to listen to King. Thank you, Screw92530. Uh Screw Screw92530 is an awesome guy. He's awesome. He is awesome. He is awesome. And I'm not just saying this because he's in this chat. If he wasn't in this chat, I say the same thing like I said yesterday in my life. Okay, I do have family on here. Screw 92530 is family. Donna is family. All right. Phyllis Brown is family. Living your best life is family. She's not here. She might be resting. I don't know. Okay. But they are family. They are my family for life. They are for life. Okay. They are for life. Phyllis Brown for life. All right. All right. So, yes. Uh, check out my, my, my buddy, Screw 92530. He do go live. Check him out. Show some love. Sh uh, show some love to my... my 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 family, uh, my brother, Screw ninety two five thirty. He do go live. He does a lot. He does some exercise, some uh, you know, some stuff with the wheel and get up on the thing and pull himself up. I mean, he does it all. Okay, he does uh, how to run your business, how to make money, and investment in money. Check him out. You'll learn something. Okay, he's a businessman. Have a good head on his shoulder and know what he's talking about. Okay, so check out my buddy. Check out my brother. Don't forget to check out Screw92530. Check out Phyllis Brown. Check out Donald. Check out Living Your Best Life. Check those names out. Wonderful name. Uh, very loyal to people. Uh, I, I met them a couple of months, and I met uh, Donald through Screw. And without Screw92530, I would never have met Donald. Okay, that is the way it is. I probably would never met her. I probably 65 years old and never met a, a lady named Donald. Okay, so without Screw, I wouldn't be able to met her. All right? And, and Phyllis Brown and living your best life. Okay, I would never met these met these uh, wonderful people, wonderful people of God. That okay? they're very wonderful and very loyalty, and they mean well. Okay, and sometimes they don't come into the lie because people have a people have a life of their own. Okay? And I believe sometimes you got to take a couple of hours off of YouTube, and then when they do come back on YouTube, they come back and go live for about an hour or two or whatever. Okay, because we're all trying to grind and get them watch out. Okay, so let's help one another out. All right. Uh, let us not be funny, bunny. Let's have one another out and go in there and, and when he when somebody go live, go up in there and sit in there and then stay. Okay, let's show that love. All right, we say we love him. Let's show love. Okay, King Art, if you become a pastor one day, I will be making it my business to stop by your church, King Art. Whenever that is, let me know, bro. I sure will, man. Thank you for um, thank you for being honest. Thank you for being honest, crew. I tell you guys. I, 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 I'm not just saying this because he's into the chat. Screw is very uh, one amazing specimen. Okay, so check him out when you get a chance. Check out Mr. Screw. All right, and I, I think I told uh, Phyllis Brown that one time when she was into the live, and I said how Screw how Screw was an amazing specimen. I told Donna that as well. Okay, God did give me a gift to teach the Bible. I just haven't been doing it in front of you guys because I didn't know how y'all were were. were but look at it. Y'all might probably would have stoned me with stones, or you might say, man, you bored. Talk about something else. You know, I, that's why I didn't do it. And I said, you know what? Maybe I do a little bit here, a little bit there. Maybe if I bring it up every now and then in my relationship talk, maybe people you say, hey, this guy knows something about the Bible. Why he ain't doing something about the Bible? So last week, I had a lady came in here and jumped down my throat and say, I don't want to hear no more about no relationship topic. You should be talking about the Bible. Because I saw you had a strong faith and I saw it came out of you, and wow, you you wasting time talking about relationship. I said, well, what is this lady talking about? I said, all right, you know what? I'm going to give her what she wants. So I went last Sunday. I did the 
a telecast about Jesus being God. So where was she? You know what I'm saying? Maybe she didn't see. Maybe she didn't thought I, I, I would do it, but I did. Let's see what the chat is saying. Have a good night, guys. Be the be the reason someone smiled today. That's right. And I'm gonna be the reason. Thank you from thank you for that compliment. Thank you for that encouragement. Uh, we all need that. Yes, be the reason why someone is smiling today. All right. Be that reason. All right. And, I, and I'm glad you mentioned that. Let's see what the chat is saying. Uh screw say if you become a pastor one day, I will be making it my business to stop by your church, King Art, whenever. That is. Let me know. I will let you know, Mr. Uh, Screw. That's true. Uh, thank you, Phyllis Brown. Uh, and Donald just being real. Other question, King. Uh, why do you think a woman fall out of love with her man? It's because he might be not. He may not be doing something right. Okay. Maybe he's doing things as a a, a childish thing. All right. Maybe he ain't, uh, responsible as he was. Maybe he's like uh, a little lazy sometimes. And with us men, we do get a little lazy. We don't want to do stuff. All right, maybe we're not giving her the attention that she deserved. That's one of the main reasons why a woman will stop uh, allowing a man to sleep in the same bed with him because the man is not giving her that attention as he used to give her. Okay, and then a woman start gradually and slowly but surely start falling out of the uh, the love for the for her husband or for a man. All right, I think the ladies will love going to your church. Yeah, I hope so. Screw. <laughs> oh man, I hope so, man. I hope. <laughs> yep. Don't just being real. King uh, come come back to the topic. Laugh not loud. I am to the topic. <laughs> Kato and doing. You have a blessed night. Yeah. I am to the topic, Donald. I just asked you a question. Thank you. <laughs> Donald, I'm on I am on your topic, dear. Yeah, so I'll let y'all know if I ever uh, open up a church. I hope that all y'all can come to the church. Screw Nana 2530. Uh, Donald just been real. Phyllis Brown and living your best life. Living your best life. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I got to sing my song since she's not here. Living your best life. Living your best life. Dun -dun 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 -dun. You know, uh, that's another loyalty person. Living your best life. So get back to the topic. So I won't bore y'all to death. All right. So when a woman tells you, all right. Let's be friends. Tell her no. That is the easy, the most comfortable way to escape the friend zone is to tell her no. Don't let it even give it a head start. You just tell her no. Oh, well, well she might get mad. So what? She'll get over it. Let her know that she is not going to put you in the friend zone while she go drool over some other guy who she feeling. OK, again, now we can't make women feel a certain way about us. We might feel that, oh, I like her. I hope she feel the same. That's not the case. She may not. She may not feel the way that you feel. OK, because she may not look at you as that. OK. All right. So you have to understand. All right. And if she don't, then so be it. Go by your business and let her go by her business. OK, there's too many women in the world. God made women. All right. For the man. There's too many women in the world for you to be wrapped up, tied up, tangled up into one woman. Like she's the only thing in the world. Okay. All right. There's too many women out there. God put them out here for us to to date and to have and 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 to become our wives. Okay. I'm I'm smiling as I say that because I know for a fact Donald and Fully will be dressing up and cannot go. <laughs> Uh, I haven't even started reading yet, and now I'm laughing. He said, I am smiling as I say that because I know for a fact Donald and Phyllis will be dressing up and cannot <laughs> go to King Art Church. Uh oh. Wow. They may they may not they may not can handle me. <laughs> a number of things, Donald, sick of his lies, don't want to go out anymore. Always find excuses for everything. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's another reason why a, a woman was far in love of a guy because he always saying different things as Bell Beta. What is Bell Beta? You telling her this, okay? And you telling her something else. So what that mean is everything he's begin everything he's telling his wife or his girlfriend, it sounds the same. It's like a repeat, okay? And she gets tired of that. And guess what? 
she gonna fall out of love. She go zinc, zinc out of love. I mean, she gonna fall out of love completely, and there gonna be no remorse for him no more. Right? Okay, she gonna have no more love for that guy. Her love gonna fall, and when it fall, it gonna fall hard, and it gonna be a possibility she will tell him to sleep on the couch. Okay, and a possibility to have a separation if you marry. Okay, I don't recommend anybody getting divorced. The Bible talks about that, and that's another topic for another time. So you stay tuned for Sunday because Sunday will be a great topic. I don't want y'all to miss it. All right, I can't tell you what it is. I wanna, I wanna put the title up so you guys can see and hear me talk about it. All right, I'm not gonna tell you what it is. All right, but God don't like divorce. God hates it. God against it. Now a lot of pastor, I tell you, God can forgive you. All right, you're not gonna go to hell. Okay, no, you're not gonna go to hell. All right, that's not gonna keep you out of heaven. What gonna keep you out of heaven is not living according to God's word and how you treat people. That's what's gonna keep you out of heaven, all right? But you being obedient to God's word, all right, all sin is forgiven among men. That's what Jesus said, okay? But blossom against the Holy Ghost. Now, that's one sin will not be forgiven, okay? Speaking evil against the Holy Spirit will not will be forgiving you in this world. That's to say, the second earth age. And the third one, which is not yet here, but yet to come. Okay, because we're in the second earth age. There are three earth ages. There was one before this one. God wiped it out. And then there's one now, we ain't. That's the second one. So there's a third one coming. That's the eternal heaven and, and, the, and the New Jerusalem. So God will forgive uh, all other sin except blossoming against the Holy Spirit. And the word blossoming means to speak evil. Uh, okay. Uh, Phyllis Brown, exactly. He's not doing the three P. Okay. Uh, screw 92530. I can't see them at your church. Oh, I forgot to mention Marlene. Yeah. Bring in Marlene. Yeah. She called me, uh, she called me the Lotta Pop kid. Ha <laughs> ha. What are you doing? I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm talking. I'm talking. Stop. Stop, Mary. I'm eating. I'm, I'm talking, baby. My daughter. All right. I can see them at your church. Oh, I forgot to mention them, Marlene. Yeah, Marlene, right? <laughs> Marlene is something else. Yeah, Marlene is something else, I'll tell you. Yeah, bring on Marlene. Bring Marlene into the building. Smash that like button as you're coming into the live podcast. All right. Smash the like button. Uh, uh, let's share the live out. All right, share the live out. Okay, share it out. Smash the button for King of 70. Smash that button. Okay, so don't let her strain you alone for no reason for no whatsoever. Give me one minute. I'm here. Yeah, so don't let a woman uh, tell you to be in the friend zone because she want to put you in there because she want to run around and do do nonsense stuff that don't make sense, okay? Don't let her do that to you. Don't ever let a woman do that to you whatsoever, okay? So uh, you want to stay to the point where you letting her know up front, look, this is who I am. I don't do the friend zone thing. I'm sorry. If that's not what you want, then I can't. I can't be around you. Oh, you don't have to. You don't have to go in there. You don't have to go in that kind of detail. That detail. Just tell her you don't do the friend zone thing. All right. Uh, to you, uh, and she said, "Why?" Well, to you, to me, it's a waste of time. Okay, and, and, and it's never gonna go nowhere. All right. You always gonna be wondering, wondering, and I wonder why. Uh, if I can ever have a, a a relationship with her but you but you but you're not why why are you not because she don't look at you like that now you agree to be in her friend zone thing okay you agree to be on that back burner okay she don't she ain't gonna talk to you she giving you her non-sexual attention okay that's hypothetical she put you in the friend zone you did agree with her you you feel you feel some type of way for her okay you feel like a sexual attractor to her she's not gonna feel that why because right now Y'all are friends. 
she treats you as a friend, right? So you could be burning up with desire for sex with her, but yet she don't feel that way for you. Why? Because she put you in the friend, well, she have you to agree to put you in the friend zone. And you say, yeah, or you say, okay, we can be friends. Don't, don't, don't ever agree to be friend with a woman if you really don't want her. If you like her, let her know. There's two things she can say to you. All right, you can be up front and be direct. Being direct is mean you're letting her know you're not here to play games. Look, I want to let you know I'm feeling you. I don't know how you feel about me, but I want to let you know up front, okay? I, I really do like you, and I want to have I want to make it work, okay? And now, be as it may, she may not feel the same way, okay? You can go, you can be direct and tell her, look, I just want to let you know I don't want to be friends or just friends. I want us to uh, get to know one another more. Hang out more and do things more together, right? Be expect her to say no. Expect for her to say no. I'm not interested. Okay. I expect her to say something that to try to strain you alone, so to give her bow time to make excuses for not uh, hooking up with you or not being more than just friend. Okay. Worst thing she can say is no, or I'm not interested. And then after she say that, say okay, then bye. It was nice meeting you. Okay, that's all you got to do. You don't owe her no explanation. She'll probably try to stop you or try to feel sad and look sad because you're walking away. Don't pay that no attention. Keep walking. All right? She didn't feel sorry when she told you no and rejected you, so don't feel sorry while you walk away. Be a, a can-do type person. Be a man. Okay? Like Donald said, love her up. I use the word can-do type person. Be a can-do mean I can do it. Walk away from her as a man. Smash the like button. I had six people up into the live. Smash the like button. Uh, let's get 10, 11, 15 likes in this uh, chat. Push them likes out. Get this content out so people can hear it. Uh, let's Don What's Donald saying? King Art. Phyllis Brown. Uh-oh. Phyllis Brown's starting with me now. I'm in trouble. All right. Let's see what Phyllis Brown's saying. I see them at your church. Oh, I forgot to mention Marlene. Okay, that's that's school nine two five thirty. I can see them at your church. Oh, I forgot Marlene. King Art, I have King Art, have you ever been in a relationship where you feel like the person is just only using you? Yes. Yes, I did. I got out of it. I got out of it very fast. I didn't like it. Smash that like button. I got six people into the chat. Yes, fellas, I did. I've been in two of them. Took full advantage. And not no more, though. Not no more. I don't, I don't wise up. I don't level up. Like Donald said, level up. Level up. Get your head on straight. Smash the like button. Donald, just being real, said, remember, once a woman puts a man in a friend zone, it's a wrap. That's right. That's it. That's why I tell guys. Here's the thing, Donald. You can tell her no up front. Tell her. You don't want to be friends. All right? Remember, once a woman puts a man in a friend zone, it's a wrap. You might can change her feeling. You will, you will have to jump hoops once a lady meets a man. We know from jump, where will we place him? That's right. If you don't fix the, if you don't correct it in the beginning, it will be too late. You don't, you don't mess up. You don't mess up big time. Only way you can get out of it, start contacting her. That's all. All right. Smash the like button for King Art 70. I should have at least 11 likes in here. Smash it. Don't be stingy. Phyllis Brown, then you just snap and break it all, all at once. Yes, I did. I got rid of it. I didn't want it no more. Because they were using me for, for the wrong reason. Screw 92530. I hate users. Yes, screw. There are users. They don't want nothing more than your money or your attention or they're using you for, for whatever they want to use you for. It could be for many reasons, for money, a place to live, or whatever. That's right, screw. You didn't have to, you didn't have to, uh, screw, you didn't have to uh, erase that. That's, that's, that's not bad. Once a woman meets a man, we know the first minute where we place him fat. Uh, yes, Donna, that's true, but not me. Not me, because I tell you no. Yeah.
Once a woman meets a man, we know the first minute where we are praising him. Facts. Yeah, that's facts. Right in the friend zone. In the dreaded friend zone. Yeah, in the dreaded friend zone. Yeah, that's a shame where people let themselves get into the friend zone like that because they, uh, once you get in there, you can't get out. Yeah. I agree with you, Donald. That's facts. A woman know instant. The moment she meet the guy, he don't seem like he's confident and show up himself. Guess what? In the friend zone. Bye. Not for me. That's just like I was saying in my video yesterday. Why a woman say we will see? That means you're not on her level. She's better than you, okay? And she don't have time to waste any more time dealing with you for the wrong reason, all right? Once you get in, once you get in, you can't get out, King Arthur. So true, loving out loud. I'm cracking up now. Yeah, once you're in there, you're in there. I mean, you could change the way how she feel about you, you just got to be patient, strong, confident, and, and assure of yourself. What do I mean? Certain that, look, she got a, a knowledge that you are in the friend zone. That's the first thing. Admit, I am in the friend zone. I put myself in there because I, I, I didn't have the balls to tell her no. Have the balls to tell a woman, no, you're not going to put me in the friend zone. Or tell her, tell her, you're shaking my computer. Come on, go. Tell her that you're not gonna you're not gonna um, um do it. Okay, you messing up my computer. Goes, my thing gonna be shaking. Go, go over there. All right. Once you get in there, friends, though, you cannot get out. King Art, so true. Cracking, laughing up. Yeah. Once you in there, you in there, and you can't get out of it. All right. You cannot get out of it whatsoever. All right. Yeah, you can't get out of the friend zone because once you're in there, you are in there. You are in there. Yes, this is the first step. Acknowledge it. Yeah, acknowledge that you are in that friend zone. I was talking to you, bump my table. Come on now, go in there and we'll take it down. Come on. I'm going to cut in a minute. Go, go. Hold on for a minute, y'all. Yeah, so you got to acknowledge that you are um, in the friend zone thing, all right? Give me one minute. Come on. I'm going to try to record you bumping the laptop thing. You can't bump it. I'm recording. Go. Go somewhere. Stop. Go sit down. Sit, sit, sit. Don't move. All right. Sorry about that, y'all. Yeah, you have to acknowledge that you're in the friend zone. Okay, messing up my, my recording. You can't be bumping, making the thing shake. All right. Yeah, you got to acknowledge. If you don't acknowledge it, you just gonna be in the friend zone, and then nothing got nothing gonna never happen, and you will be you will get bitter, pissed off, and upset. Why she got me in the friend zone? You put yourself in there. You put yourself in there. You got to get out of it. And the way to get out of it is stop, stop calling her, stop texting her, stay busy, uh, do things that you thought you would never ever would do. You know, keep yourself occupied and stuff like that. Okay, that's how you get out of the friend zone. That's how I got out of it. I stopped calling her, I stopped texting her. I did all that stuff. I stopped texting for about two weeks, and then it went three weeks, and then it went a month, and then it went to two months, which is uh, you know, six days, and then another month about 90 days. And then she out of the blue contact me and say, What are you doing? I say, Well. I'm I'm busy and I was busy and, I, and I'm not lying. I'm working two jobs at the time, and so she came out of nowhere and scheduled a meet and greet, and I didn't even schedule anything. Why? Because she will she wondering wondering what I'm doing, what I'm up to, who I'm talking to, who I'm hanging out with, and where where is my about? Okay, so I I didn't give her a lot of information. I just told her I was busy, and uh, I got get I got to hurry and get off the phone. So what I did was. I don't talk to her for about two minutes, right? So I left the conversation up in the air, and I said, "Hey, well, let me go because I'm I'm tied up between a lot of stuff right now, and I I talk to you whenever." 
So I didn't tell her when I was talking to her. Uh, it does sound like it's kind of like like manipulation, but it's not. It's basically letting her know that I acknowledged that I was in the friend zone. I messed up. Now I'm no more interested in you. Okay. Now I got to focus on myself, get myself back on track. Okay. And see the mistakes that I did. Okay. So let her, when she see you as this, she respect you. Okay. She respect your time. She'll value your time. And if you keep doing it the right way, all right, by being confident and show of yourself and staying busy and being on your purpose, she'll uh, uh, acknowledge you as a high value male now. Okay. She'll know that you had changed. You're not the same guy whom she had met where you put, that she put you in a friend zone. She know you, 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 you're totally different from the time that she met you uh, six months ago or 10 months ago. Okay. No way, Joe. No way is Joe, Jose. Yeah, man. No. If I tell I tell guys all the time, don't get in the friend zone. Cause once you're in there, you're in there. You just got. And once you're in there, you just got to acknowledge that you're in there. Okay. Acknowledge that you are in the friend zone. Okay. When you don't acknowledge that you're in there, then you're thinking, okay, no, she don't have me in the friend zone. Yes, she does. Because if she didn't, she would have been going out with you. She would have been intimate with you. Intimate meaning like kissing you. Maybe having a little casual sex or whatever, you know. I don't like talking about that stuff because you're supposed to get married first, right? Whatever the reason you want from her, okay? She will give you her non-sexual attention, right? She go to use you for. She's only going to use you for attention, just to get a high, make her feel good while she drooling some, drooling over some other guy, who acting like a jerk, who was okay, and then he she made him mad for something that she might did stupid. Maybe taking too long to call him, the one that she drooling over, and so he got mad and didn't call her back or text her back. So she's bored now. Now she go call you. Why? Because you in the zone. Because she know you're a fool. You go pick up because she know you like her. Okay, she know you go drop everything just to talk to her. Why? Because it's kind of like she got you wrapped right around her finger. Okay, because she know you like her. So when that dude who she's sweating. And drooling all over and make her vagina tangle. Okay. Then she wanna come in your face, grin, smile like nothing never happened. No, 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 sweetheart. Get out of here. Get go to the guy who you was drooling over, or the guys. It could be more than two or three guys, okay? Um, stuff like that. She was uh, drooling over, okay? So I don't want nothing to do with you no more. Is I'm mad about it? No. You rejected me. I accept it. I acknowledge that I'm in the friend zone. Now I'm out of it. Why? Because I haven't talked to you for about six months. All right. Smash that like button for King R70. I had six, seven, eight people up into the chat. Smash that button. Don't be stingy. Smash it and share it out on the, uh, share this live out on the community tab. Guys, I got so much great content on my hard drive. I can't even tell y'all how much it is. Okay. Vice versa. Male do it to women too. Yes. Good night. Yeah. Vice versa. You're right. Good night, Keyshawn. Males does it to women too. They put when a man when a man is not feeling a woman. I don't care how good she looks. Even if she let's say she look good, she lost weight, got a nice chest, nice butt. For some reason, he's not feeling her. It doesn't matter. He's not feeling her. So he'll go out, put her in the friend zone, while he's drooling over some other. Woman, okay, that got his private pot dripping, okay, because he's hiding behind, okay. I hate to say that, but that's how it is, okay. He put her in the friend zone because he don't want nothing to do with her. Maybe he'll save her for if it doesn't work out with the one that he's drooling all over, okay. Okay, all right, I, I really do like this lady. But I know this lady really like me. So I do want some. So if this lady don't want me, I can always go back and mess with the chick in uh, the friend zone. Okay, even though she got a nice body, but I just don't, I just want to put this woman first because she's more hotter. Okay. But those are the one that, that really don't want anything from the guy, but to have a guy to chase him, chase her. Yep, that happened to me years ago. I changed that with the quickness. Ooh, with the quickness of the mittness. Yep, God, I didn't 
stay in that zone for long. Yeah, they'll put you in the friend zone. They will put you in the friend zone in a heartbeat. Women will do the same thing with guys. So men do the same thing. Put you in the friend zone while he's drooling over some other woman that got his his private part uh, wet. Excuse my language, okay? But that's how they do, okay? That's how guys do, right? I use the word private part because I don't want to use the word. Uh, I know there's no kids watching anything. All right, but uh, yeah, that's how that's how women uh, guys do women too. And women do the same thing to uh, to guys. Okay, so don't be in that friend zone. Tell him no. Don't be scared to tell him no. Say, look, no, I don't do the friend zone thing. Sorry, walk away from him. He wouldn't have chance. He wouldn't have a chance to put you in there. Why? Because you told him no up front. You've been direct. No, like I told my date. No, I don't do the friend zone. Sorry. And I walked away. She go, well, uh, we go. I, I said, I just told you I'm not going to do the friend zone thing. So she stopped. And she know for sure I'm not going to do it. I'm not here to play play game with you, okay? I'm not here to play tax buddies, phone buddies, and all that, okay? When you are bored, you go call me up just to get a good laugh or to, uh, or to get a good high to make you feel good. Build, build. Give you validate you, okay? No, I'm not gonna validate you. Smash the like button uh, into the chat. Uh, six people watching, nine likes. Smash it up. Get let's get ten likes up in here. Eleven likes, twelve or whatever you prefer. Okay. So women, watch out. Guys will put you in the friend zone too, as well as women put guys in the friend zone. On both part, tell them no. Women, tell a guy no. All right, a guy can strain a woman along as though he is interested. A guy can be a tension whore. And this don't mean he like to sleep with a lot of women. It just means he's using you for attention. Okay, it's like a high. Make him feel good. Make him feel that he knows somebody that want him, but he puts the lady in the friend zone. He knows you want him. Okay, while he go out and chase other women who he drew over. Okay, and they gave, those women gave him their numbers, so he put you in the friend zone, okay? All right? He put you in the back burner. Okay, right now, he put you there for now because uh, I can always go back and talk to Donna or Phyllis just like that because I know they're going to be there waiting for me when they call. When I call, they're going to pick up. It's kind of like having a puppet on a string. I know the puppet is down the puppet only stands up when you take the sticks and go like this. But when you're not moving it, the puppet is down on a on a on a bed or on a, some shelf. Okay? They pick you up when they want to pick you up and play around with you and play with your feelings and to manipulate you. Okay, just like a food puppet. Yeah, where's Marlene at? <laughs> That's her nickname. Food puppet. She ain't, she don't know yet, but it is. She called me a lot of pop kids, so I gotta get her back. All right, from Wizard of All. So she's the puppet puppet master. <laughs> uh, let me stop for she played this thing back and uh, you know, yell at me, right? So don't let guys strain you along, put you in the in the dickament of thinking that you do have a change with them, but yet they strain you along all this time while they're going out, running around, going to the club, hanging out with their boys, or just meeting with another chick, all right, and put you on hold, all right, because they know they can come back to you and talk to you anytime they want on any on any given day, whether it's a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, seven days a week, 365 days of the year. It all depends if you wanted to stay in that friend zone or allow him to put you in the friend zone for all that time, which I think don't make sense. Why don't you get somebody... Uh, who's not going to do that? Who will give you the time of, of, of the day? Okay? You say, well, he's successful. He's financially secure. So what? He can still put you in the friend zone. Okay? He can say, you know what? We're on a date with Donna. You know what? Uh, I'm going to put in the friend zone. I'm not feeling it. Or I got this other girl over there, and I'm going to put Donna in the friend zone for now. Okay? So when the other lady mess him, make him mad, even though he's hot in the behind, all right, and she refused him because she didn't want to give up, give it up, 
right? Then she go go talk to Donald. Okay, smash that like button for your boy. Uh, living your best life, living your best life. Bum, 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 bum. Living your best life, living your best life. Bum, 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 bum. What's up, dear? I got a name for you. Since you want to call me the, the lollipop kid, guess what? You are the puppet master. <laughs> you the puppet food master. Now, how you like those apples, right? <laughs> I'm just joking, dear. How you doing today? How was your day living? Oh, you love it. <laughs> she loved being called a fool. Well, I'm, I'm telling you, living your best life. I'm glad I don't, I'm glad I'm here. I'm scared to meet you in the public. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm telling you what, living. I don't want to meet you. <laughs> I don't want to meet you in the public or in real life because you might make me dance. Roll living. Yeah, so that's good. Dance, puppet dance. And that's how uh, women, guys put women in the uh, friend zone because they're like a puppet on, on the string. You know, like that. They're like, I call her, she go pick the phone up. I call her, she go text me. I call her, tell her, meet me at Foxwood or whatever. Or Mohegan Sun. She will meet me there. Dance, puppet, dance. That's right. Like living in your best life, say, she's the master of puppets. Okay, you puppet. I want Blue Diner. Dance, dance, dance. Bring it back. Bring me the biggest crab tail or lobster tail in the whole restaurant. Dance, 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 dance. Okay, and then she dances all the way from the diner all over the place. Or maybe she'd go out with them and then make them buy that stuff, okay? That dance, dance, dance. So that's how some women uh, dance guys around. If a guy who's sweating the woman, okay, who really sweating the woman, doesn't know better, and then that woman take full advantage, all right? I am great, Donna. Living your best life. Good to hear. Yeah, she's the puppet master. And I hope she liked the new name I gave her. <laughs> yeah, so um, since she called me Lighter Pop Kid, so that's the name I gave her. So she beat me up. She started with me first, and I didn't do anything to her. Bring me 10 ounces. Oh, bring me 10 ounce Kobe steak and jumbo shrimp puppet. Oh, oh, now she called me a puppet. I'm telling you, boy. I'm telling you, living your best life, you 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 are you are amazing. You know that? You're amazing, right? So yeah, got living your best life up in here. Well, I was talking about you too. I was saying, where's that living your best life at? Where is she at? Where's that puppet master? Ha <laughs> ha. All right, but she's here. Thanks for coming to the live. Uh, get back on the topic. Uh, Willie World Media, much love from Colorado. Colorado, Colorado. Welcome to Colorado. Welcome, sir. Smash the like button for King Art 70. I appreciate you for stopping by, showing the love and the loyalty. Thank you. And they run and do it. Yeah, I know. Because I wouldn't, I tell you what, living your best life, I want to do it too because I, th I think those guys are scared of you. Uh, Willie Whit World Media, thanks for coming to the chat. Smash the like button. Share out that. Uh, share out the live uh, on the social media platform. And what else they gonna run and get for you? Smash the like button for King Out Seventy. They will run and do it. I know they will. Smash the button out. So don't let uh, don't let women or men put you in the friend zone. And, and, and when I came up with this topic, I said, is this a good topic to talk about? And uh, some say, just do it. And you never know what's going to happen. I said, all right, I do it. So I follow my first instincts, right? They buy me groceries, too. Whoa! Hey, 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 hey. Now you're going a little too far there, all right? They buy you groceries? What is it with you? How you do it? Willie World Media, thank you for being in this live chat. Uh, thank you for being in this podcast. Smash that like button for King on 70. Share this thing out on social media. Share it out. Share it out on YouTube tab. Share it out because I like to get this video out. So you can hear this good topic. What a great topic. I thought it wasn't going to do that well, uh, but I said, well, I don't know what this topic will Yes, sir. Yes. Laughing out loud. Thank you, Willie. Uh, uh, 
Wiz World Media. I smile and they please. Uh oh. I smile and they please. And those puppet dance. Oh boy. You gotta pee. Go ahead. Dance, dance, dance. Dance, dance. Shut the door. Dance, 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 dance. So you make those puppets dance. Like that. <laughs> Oh boy, living your best life. You are, you are, you are something else. I tell you, living my life, blind. Living your best life. So you make those puppet dance all the time when they, when you ask those puppets to go out and get you some food and some groceries. What kind of groceries should they buy you? Living your best life. Whoa, she said. Twenty minutes later. They dance. Oh, my God. Remind me to stay away from you, okay? Donna, just being real. Hi, Wiz. Yeah, he's new. I never seen him before. Thank you for coming to the live uh, Wiz um, World Media. Thank you for coming to the live, whatever I want. Oh, okay. So so it's like that, huh? Okay, I see. Living your best life, say, whatever I want, they'll get it. There's no ifs and buts about it. They got no other choice. Because they are puppets, and you make them dance. Dance, 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 dance. I say, go get me some grocery. You dance your behind to the grocery store and go get it. I don't care if you had to go to Piggly Wiggly, Giant Food World, Bilo, Food Lion. Go get me some grocery or Stop and Shop. We don't have that up in Connecticut. They have a uh, Stop and Shop and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, dance, dance, dance. That's right. We got we only got Stop and Shop up here and Shop Right. Yeah, and we had uh, A and P, but it took it down. Yeah. So living your best life, said she make all these puppet dance, 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 like the Michael Jackson song, dancing, 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 dance machine. Ooh, baby. Donald makes the puppet dance too. Donald, you make puppet dance. I love Shot Right. Great sale. Yeah, they got a great sale. You got shot right over there in New York? Living, laughing out loud. You got shot right out there? I got six people into the live. Thank you from standing here. All six of you from standing in this podcast. All right. And we're talking about don't let women uh, put you in the friend zone. Uh, one way to tell a woman an easy, more easy way to get out of the friend zone is to look her in her eye. And look her in her, in her face and say, no, I'm not doing the friend zone thing. I'm sorry. And then you walk away from her. You don't give in and cave in like a little punk. You don't be a fool puppet. You don't let her run all over you. Well, she's a woman. I don't care. Right? I don't care. If you give her that right to put you in the friend zone, then you deserve to be in the friend zone. Okay? Because she just wins you over. Uh-oh. Sorry. Don't do it. Um, shh. I don't want to say maybe laughing out loud. Live your best life. Don't be scared, Donna. Be a puppet master. Oh, <laughs> Donna, you can do it. Donna, 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 Donna. Say what you want to say. Say, uh, look what uh, living your best life says. She ain't scared to say it. Do, do you, do you. Do what you want to do. Let the song say, do me grooving. Do whatever you like. Do me, take me. Do whatever you like. Do me grooving. Do whatever you like. Do me, do me. Do whatever you like. All right? Donna, just being real, living your best life, you got me cracking up, laughing out loud. I am serious. Oh, boy. I know you're serious living your best life. You the puppet master, All right? You gonna make your own movie one day. Women, how to make guys buy food for you and how to make them buy groceries. <laughs> right? So you make a good, uh, perfect example how to show the younger girls as they're coming up as a teenager up into the 20s, 30, 40, 50 years how to strain guys alone to buy food. Claim your gift. Oh, you are bad. You need to stop. You need to stop. That's all right. Do your thing. 
Don't let nobody change it. That's the way you want to do it. Do it. All right. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, on both sides, vice versa, as Philip said, guys put women in the friend zone as well. So as women put guys in the friend zone. So your best thing is to tell them no. All right. That's the easy way out. That's why I made the title. The easy way to get out of the friend zone is to tell a woman no. Easy way to get out of friend zone with a guy, tell him no. Look him in his eyes. Be sincere. Be real. And you be confident. Don't be scared to tell him. Don't be scared to tell her that no, I will not do the friend zone thing. All right? Look him in the eye. And so what? They get mad. So what? They'll get over. Worst thing she can say, well, I don't want to, well, I can't have a relationship. So what? Then yeah, that's when you walk away. Okay? I know living your best life. I can tell you that kind of person. <laughs> I'm just joking. I love putting guys in the friend zone. That's because they're scared to tell you, no, I'm not going to be no, hey, living. I bet you I said, no, nope, I ain't going to be no friend zone. Those guys are scared. I said, nope, I'm not going to friend zone. I had to walk away from you. Well, you going to walk away for that beautiful black girl? Yep. Yep. Where is Phyllis? And screw. I don't know. It disappeared on me. I don't know. I don't know what screw and um and um and Phyllis. They are they are scared and they cry. That's because they are scared of you. Yeah, they're listening. Thank you, Phyllis. The most loyalty lady on the planet. Don't count Phyllis out because when you think Phyllis not in here, she's in here listening, listening to the conversation. All right. So thank you, Phyllis. The, the most loyalty for life. For life. The most loyalty woman on God's green earth and the most loyalty woman on YouTube. Okay. And I'm not just saying that because she's in here. And if she's not in here, I tell her the same thing when she's not here. Phyllis is the best. Yes, she is the best, the best, the best, and above all of the best. All right? Yes, she is the best. Yes, I, I agree with you. Because I told her many times when she came into this live, I sit here and listen to me run my mouth for an hour or two hours. She, she sat right on there and listened to me run my big mouth. Okay? Um, and that's why I, I love her a great deal. All right? Hello, living. You're the best. Uh, hello, living your best life. Phyllis, you are a puppet master. Ah, don't start. Don't start living your best life. Living your best life, try to turn everybody into a puppet master. Um, <laughs> oh, man. I can't, I can't, I can't deal with well, living your best life, guys. She's just too much. I know, I know some women love to put guys in the friend zone. I know it. I know. And living your best life is one of them. I should try to change all about your foot. Phyllis are a puppet master. Ah, no, no, she not. All the ladies should be. Nah, -uh. wow, girl. I can't, I can't, I can't handle. Uh, no, I am not. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. I think living your best life got beside herself. Uh oh. She said all women should be a puppet master. What? A, a living your best life. Why all women should be a, a puppet master? I, I want you to answer that question. Where's Donna at? Donna, are you quiet? Oh, ooh. no, I cannot read. I cannot believe what I just read. Donna? Donna just being real said, living, you might be, you might have a point, laughing out loud. Phyllis Brown said, if I am feeling you, I don't want nothing from that person. That's right. That's right. If I'm not, if a woman, and I tell y'all guys all the time, if a woman not feeling a man, it's not going to happen. I don't give a damn how much money he got. How much money he got. I don't care if he got his finance on point, his act together. If she's not feeling you, 
it ain't gonna work. I don't care how much masculine energy a man has. Okay, if she's not feeling him, same way with a a man. If a woman looks good, got her her, her dress code on point, whatever. He's not feeling her. It ain't gonna happen. Okay, that's just the way it is. Give men a dose of their own medicine. Yeah, I agree with that uh, because I had a girl, a few of them play games with me and they ghost me. So I had to give those women the dose of their own medicine. Let them know that that's not a cool thing to do to somebody. Okay, now I bet they, they might do it to other people, but they won't do it to me no more because they know I give them some of their own medicine. Donna just being real. Phyllis, call, but still here. Phone call, but still here. Oh, okay, thank you. I'm just kidding, y'all. Ah, uh, yeah, no, you're not. You're not just kidding. Oh, uh, is that because I call you a puppet master? <laughs> that's what that because I live in your best life? I don't think you like that. Olivia, I don't think you like that. I don't believe so. But I do believe you put some people in the friend zone. I know you're just having fun. Yeah, because you called me the lot of pop kid. Yeah, you really, you, that really crushed me, real. That crushed me last night. That crushed me like, bam! Crushed me right down to the bone. Mm -hmm. Laughing out loud. This, this is fun. This is fun. Yeah, I know, Don. Yeah, so don't get into the friend zone with any man or women. Don't let guys put you in the friend zone. And guys, don't let the woman put you in the friend zone, okay? Now, if you get in there, you have to acknowledge that you're in there. First of all, to, all, to get out of it, you have to acknowledge that you are in the friend zone, okay? All right? She put you in there because you got in there. Because you didn't let her know up front that what you want. And when she say, let's be friends, that's when you say no. Tell her no right up front, real fast and quick. No. One word, no. And then she you won't give her you won't if you say yeah, it'll give her time to strain you alone and to get give her time to go out and talk to other guys. Not that you got control over her, okay? We can't make people talk to us, okay? I'm just saying if you don't want to be in the friend zone, tell her no. Okay, tell her no. Tell her you don't do the friend zone. That's all. And then leave it at that. All right, laughing out loud. Some deserve to be in the friend zone. Yeah, only those that don't have common sense and those don't know what to say to a woman and they wait too long to tell a lady that they don't want to. They don't want to just be friends. Yeah, I agree with you. Living, did you see King Rock push up video challenge? Ah, 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 ah. Donna, I'm gonna get you. I like that damn Donna got me again doing push up. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do that prank thing too. The prank. The prank? I ain't forgot about the prank. Living, did you see King Art push up video challenge? Yes, I saw it, Donna. Oh, you didn't comment on it. I'm mad at you. Yes, I saw it, Donna. Okay. Thank you, living your best life. Thank you, dear. Living your best. Are you are you laughing at me living your best life? Donna just being real. Cool. Live your best life. I comment. No, you didn't. I'm going to check you out. I'm going to check you out. Since you make guys cry, I'm going to say, you know what? Let me check out Living Your Best Life. I'm going to check you out. Now, what you say about that? I'm saying, I'm going to check her comment out. I'm not going to get mad if you don't comment. It's okay. She really fooled me that time. I'm just joking. Don't pay me no mind. But yeah, it was a challenge. Thanks to Donald that I had. Yeah, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Like, but I gotta do another video. It's a, it's a prank. It's a prank video. I want to do that. I want to record it. Um, I might do it. I will go do it tonight, but I might do it tomorrow. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do a. It will probably be five minutes. So five minute video, so y'all can watch it. I got. Screw to do the challenge too. Good. I gotta watch Screw. Screw did comment on it. I saw Screw comment on it. Yeah, Plank, Cool King Art. Yeah, I'm gonna do it. Uh, I'm, I'm, I watched that video that you sent me. 
about that dude. And then um, it was a good video. I think I'm going to um, do that, too. You know, you hold yourself up. Ooh. You do the prank video. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to load up as a, a premiere. Donna, you should like. Oh, Donna. you sh Donna, you sound like a puppet master. <laughs> Oh man, where that on started now? I think she's doing that trying to get on my nerves. <laughs> oh man, oh man. <laughs> oh man, I gotta I gotta keep quiet about that puppet master. You got me laughing. Say, Donna, living your uh, living your bed life so you sound like a puppet master. I'm going to stop. Just having fun. That's all right. You don't have to stop. Keep it rolling, baby. Keep that ball rolling in your court and don't let it stop. Keep the ball rolling, living your best life. Because she got keen and screwed doing to her. Oh, 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 oh. Donna, you did it for real. I'm gonna make that. I'm gonna, I bet Donna said I'm gonna let that boy do some push up because she got keen and screwed doing her wish. Oh, that's what it is. Oh, okay. So she couldn't make her. She couldn't make her dates to do it. So she got to make her her family to do it. Oh, okay. I see what she did now. So you couldn't make your date do it. I don't care if you get mad at me. You may. You may. <laughs> I'm just joking, Donna. Don't pay me no mind. Ah, boy. Right, Phyllis. Oh! Donna just being real. Phyllis, clown, laughing out loud. So it is true. <laughs> I ain't, uh, that's okay, Donna. I ain't doing that prank. Screw that. Good one, Phyllis. Screw that crap. Women try to take charge. What, you trying to make me a puppet? Well, at least I'd be the first ever black puppet. <laughs> oh, God. Good one, fellas. Yeah, y'all women are something. I can't deal with y'all, man. Y'all too much. I, I can't deal with Phyllis Brown, Donald, and and, um, and and living your best life. Y'all guys got me going. My date works out. So what? Make him do the challenge. Why me? Make him make him do the challenge. Say, hey man, look, if you were going on another date with me, you better do a prank. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh, I am dying with laughter. Yeah, die with uh, Yeah, you know what? I can't believe Donna did that to me. I'm mad. I'm mad. Donna, tell us about your date. Oh boy. Yeah, tell us about your date. Is he a fool pup or he's a puppet? <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> Living your best life. <laughs> he probably he probably does what Donald Taylor do. Boy, come here. <laughs> I'm just let me stop. Tell us about your date, Don. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to hear it. Donald just being real. Living. I have a new friend. Only two dates. Ooh. No, she didn't went there. I have a new friend. What are you trying to what are you change the man like shoes? Oh, two dates? Uh, she tried to copy me. Try, try to copy me, Donna. Yes, he works out. And, and, oh, he works out. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay, he works out, Donna, huh? She'll tell him, Phyllis Brown, she tell him to pour her some wine, crack my lobster, pull out my chair. Oh, whoa. Now that's deep. That's deeper than a cut. She probably does. She probably command him, look here, boy. You gonna be in my house. You gotta do exactly what I say, okay? Sound nice. Sounds like a nice candidate. Okay. Phyllis Brown, laughing out loud. Yeah. Yeah, he sounds like a nice candidate. Yeah. So don't let guys, don't let guys and don't let women put you in the friend zone. That's right, Phyllis. Tell them no. Tell them no, you're not going to do it. Living too early to tell. I don't rush into relationships. That's right, Donna. Don't rush into nothing. You got all the time in the world to get to know this guy. All right? You're not, don't be so hastily. Don't be in a rush. Don't, I don't give a damn. He, I don't give a damn. He, uh, he lives 600 pounds. So what? Don't get in a rush to, to, with nobody. It's not a good thing. All right? It's not a good thing to do. It's not a good thing to do rush into any type of relationship with anybody. Thank you, guys, for being into this uh, live podcast. All right, thank you for being into the live podcast. Thank you so much. Um, been live for two hours and six minutes and 31 seconds. I know I don't either. They say, let's get serious. I am like, let's slow down. Oh, baby, slow it down. Slow it down. Yep, there you go. Slow it down like a clock. Slow that time. Come on. Slow it down. Don't let them rush you. Don't let them get you into something that you will regret. You don't have to rush anything. You don't have to rush nothing. Okay? You don't have to rush anything about anything. All right? You don't have to rush it. You don't have to rush it. So, yeah. Phyllis Brown, you got a date? You got a date, Phyllis Brown? My date is next Saturday, so I got another one on Sunday. Not this coming Sunday, but it's following Sunday. So I got two dates, too. Well, don't let uh, women put you in the friend zone. Tell them no. Now, some women try to use you for for the very reason whatever they want to use. So you just gotta uh, you just gotta let her know up front. Say, look, I don't want to do this. If you have the wrong person, I'm sorry. All right? Tell us about the date. Nice restaurant. Good conversation. Who? Donna? No, you can. No, you send me one. No, you send me one. Who, me? You want me to send you a date? Well, the restaurant I'm going to next time is Blue Diner in um in Newington, Connecticut. Not too far from here where I'm living. Phyllis Brown, you want me to send somebody to you? It's next Saturday I'll probably be going. Living. Exactly. Slow down. That's right. Slow down. Yes, I am asking if you are sending me one. Oh, sending you a man? Ha <laughs> ha! What kind of man you like? Chocolate? Light skin? Pecan tan? I don't know. Tall, short, big, fat? I don't know. I'm just joking. <laughs> what kind of man you what kind of man do you like? Okay, I will go do a video on that for the women. What kind of what kind of man you like, Phyllis? I know women are very picky. I know you are. What kind of man you like? Okay, forget about the money and all that nonsense bull crap. What kind of man you like? What do you like in a man? A sense of humor, funny, outgoing, down to earth, 
meek, humble, self-control, cool, calm, and collected. What are you? How you like your man? Besides riches and putting your having your finance in order and having your stuff together, it's more than just that. You better have inner game. You better have sex appeal. Otherwise, you nothing. Okay. And that one sooner or later, that one will get tired of you. She'll get tired of you. Okay. I'm just talking from experience. Yes, I'm asking you or sending me someone. Yes. Look, as soon as you ask this question, I send you somebody. Yes. What what kind of guy you like? What kind of man you like? I wait on your question. So it's not about. Even though we do talk about a man should have his finance in order, credit score up to about 850, 750, whatever, all right? Don't have debt up to his eyeball, okay, when you're meeting a woman. Don't hide anything from a woman. Don't lie to her. Be honest about it, okay? But what else you lack like besides him being financial security, right? Family, everyone have a blessed night. You too, uh, Donald. Don't be running on me, Donald. Don't try to disappear on me. Family, everyone have a blessed night. This was a fun live stream. Well, thank you very much, ma'am. You made it fun, and without you, it wouldn't be even funner. Thank you so much. Mwah. Love you. Laughing out loud, my dear. Yeah. Thank you, dear. Thank you, Donald. Donald is a certified relationship specialist uh, coach. Check out Donna. Donna is uh is real and real is a heart attack. Okay. She's real as a heart attack. Right? She's not a joke. All right. We we laugh, we cut up food up in here. All right, but she's good. She's a good person. She's got a good heart. All right. She's a good lady. Check out Donna, okay? Check out Donna. If you don't have Donna, check her out. Check her channel out. Make sure you watch her video in full before you comment and before you click that red button. Okay? Check her out. She's the real deal. Okay, she's the will in the middle, all right? And she will let you know what's up. All right. Thank you, Donna, for being into the live chat. I appreciate you. Yeah. Living your best life. Uh, living your best life. Five eight, financial cure, family origin, funny, around 40 years old, dark skin and nice. Oh, so you want your boy to be almost six feet tall, finding secure, family organ, and funny, around 40 years old, drink and old, or dark, old, dark, and skin. Okay, I got you. Night, living, feeling screw, and whoever is out there. Stay positive. Focus. Keep God first in your life. That's right. Amen to that. Believe me, only blessing will come your way. That's right. Keep God into you. Keep God our ways. Okay, we want we we want everything that we want. Okay, we want the that's how to, that's why I was saying in my podcast. That's what we want. We want people that find that secure. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay, there's nothing wrong with somebody who find that secure, family organ, funny, outgoing, down to earth. All right. Also, want somebody who's a man, who's a man of God. Okay, all that finance stuff is good, but if he's not of God, it's not going to work. I'm just letting you know. Uh, he got to be into God. Okay, you gotta be into God. You don't want a man who's gonna provide with you financial materialistic. Okay, you want somebody who loves the Lord as much as you love the Lord, as Donna said. Stay positive, be positive, stay in God's word. Right? But this is my quote. I normally will say this when I'm done with my life, but you stay in God's word every day in it. Okay, even with problems. All right, why? Because Jesus is the living word. Okay, stay in God's word every day, never give up, don't give in. Be positive, have a positive attitude, and stay blessed, okay? God will see you through if you only put trust into the trust in your father's hand. God is God. God cannot lie. That's one thing God cannot do. God cannot lie. Why? God is so righteous that he can't lie. God cannot go on his God cannot go back on his word. We do. I can tell you I'm gonna be at your house in the morning, help you move and don't show up. All right? I didn't kept my bargain. I didn't kept my agreement. But God doesn't do that, okay? God doesn't do none of those things, all right? Uh, living your best life. I hear you, lady. I know what I want. That's right. You know what you want. We know that. I love my chocolate brother. Okay, good to know that you love chocolate brother because I'm chocolate. I look like a Hershey chocolate syrup. Look at that. 
Let me stop. I'm playing around. But I, I, I am chocolate. I love my, and I love my chocolate sister too. Now, what do you say about that? Thank you, love. Well, thank you for showing love, living your best life to the chocolate brothers. Uh, okay, I know some of them they get a little aggravated because the dark skinned sister go out with the light skinned brother. I don't, I don't know what kind of thing that is, but it always been like that. But thank you for showing that uh, love to the brother, to the, I mean dark skinned brothers. All right, thank you for showing love. And uh, every woman know what she want. Is that what she want? She wants somebody who financially care, five eight, six foot, and family organ. That's what she want. So be it. That's what she want. <clears throat> and don't change, don't change what you want. Okay, for other people, that's what you want. Nine times out of ten, you'll get it. Why? Because that's what you desire to have. Right? You want somebody five eight, uh, who got garden to his life, who financially secure and stable. All right? I am about to go taste a wine. Uh, I'm about to go taste a white one. Oh, oh, that's okay, fellas. Do your thing. If you like white, go for it. All right, I'm not. I don't. I don't discriminate. If you like white men, that's you. you know what I'm saying that's what you like. I don't discriminate. All right, my brother married a white girl. You know what I'm saying. But I, I'm not gonna judge nobody. You know, I'm not gonna do that. We all have a, 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 a preference. What we want. You know, um, if you do that, that that's you. I'm just saying, more power to you. All right, more power to you. All right, um, we all. Uh, have we all have somebody? We all have somebody that we like, and that's somebody out there for everybody. I really do believe that, right? So I don't, I don't. That's uh, fellas, do your thing. Don't let nobody judge you. That's what you like. That's what you like. Okay, I'm not gonna judge you. I'm not God. If you're happy, you're happy. Okay, if it make you happy, you do it. All right? Everybody deserves to be happy. Right? I don't believe in taking control and being. Got to be control of people's lives and stuff like that, right? I don't believe in that. God, God put the person in your life to make you happy, then do so. And don't let nobody stop you from being happy. Phyllis, I thought you said something else. Uh, she said that uh, I'm about to go taste a white one. Uh oh, white. W H I T E. That means uh, a white brother, I guess. Yeah, that's all I can think of. Living, I, living, I had all of that. And trust me, I had. To let them let him go. Let who go? The black brothers or what? Who you had to let go? Who you? Living your best life, say looking. Who you had to let go, fellas? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but that's how some black black brother do. They let the they let the black woman go and go out with the white girl. You know, sometimes I want to give up on my chocolate. I I, I oh my god, yeah. I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. You know what I'm saying? If you're not happy no more, and sometimes you get fed up. You know? Yeah. Yeah, fellas, I'm sorry that happened to you.
Yeah, I'm sorry that happened to you. I mean, that's how it is sometimes, you know? And then you get fed up. Uh, living your bell, I said, I'm just going with who God sends me. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Most people do that. God send them somebody. You know, you never know who God will send you. You know, God might send you an another black brother. Maybe God might send you a white person. You don't know. Yeah, whatever God sent you, take it. Yeah, God sent you a, uh, yeah, you know, a white brother or something like that. Yeah, take it. Yeah, take it. You know, take it. Take it. So I'm live for two hours and twenty-one minutes and five uh, five seconds. Thank you guys for staying to the live. I'm talking with Phyllis Brown, living your best life. Donald been up in here. Donald left. Screwed left. Brother. Make things harder. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, they do make things lie. And some sisters do that too. Some sisters make things harder too. You know what I'm saying? I, like this one I'm dating now. She don't know what she wants. She's all over the place. And I'm not going to wait around for her. Now, I don't have time. I'm 49 years old. I'm not going to be waiting. Okay? I'm like living your best life. I do love my sister. But sometimes I, I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? You know, you know, like this later, like the later today, I make things easy. Okay, that's good. But sometimes no guys don't, you know, guys sometimes don't like to make it easy back to the woman. Yeah, that, that could possibility. God probably sent them to you. Yeah. I can say good luck. Make sure God is in you know, you know, God is in it, of course. You know? Who was sent? She was talking about the guy that she met. Yeah, the guy that she met, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, you know, some women make things easy. Some black sisters make it easy. Not all of them. Like the sister I know, she okay, she easy. She make you know, she sounds easy, but it's like sometimes I don't know. Like you know, you know, like like she made up all the excuses. And she knew I want to take her out. And then she put, last week, I couldn't go out with her. This week, I couldn't go out with her. So she making me wait until next Saturday. I really didn't like it, but I had to swallow my, swallow my you know, I had to stay humble, stuff like that. I really didn't like that. So I think she just brushed me off to do other things. But, you know, but I don't know about the, the black sister sometimes. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm not going to not going to bash them neither, but, you know. Oh, you tell them what you want. What do you want? She said, I tell them what I want, and they, um, and they say I am, I am too aggressive. Maybe too, uh, maybe, maybe seem overbearing to them. Maybe you tone it down a little bit. You know, tone it down a little bit. 
Yeah, tone it down. I can't tell you what to do, but just tone it down just a little bit to what they want. Yeah. Smash that like button for your king or 70. Sometimes you can be a little aggressive. Throw people off. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think. I don't think I know how to tone it down. You don't know how to tone it down? You maybe you being too you maybe you sound hot. You probably just high, are you high maintenance? Living your best life? That's probably why. Guys don't like high maintenance women. Let me let you know now. Some guy may not some guy it may not mean nothing. High maintenance. Okay, so you're not high maintenance. All right, you just that uh, you uh, you're too aggressive. My God. you don't know how to talk. If you don't know how to turn it down, like say you say uh, I am high, I am low maintenance. Okay, so that shouldn't be a problem then. Maybe like you said, in five years you would like to have, like say hypothetical, in five years you want to move out of the big house into a smaller house. All right. So some people. That might be too fast. For you, it may be enough time to do that. Hey, Mary. Hey, Mary. Hey, with a tablet? Watch the movie. Huh. Oh, okay. All right. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do in I heard like what do you want to do in five years or whatever? Living your best life. What do you plan on doing in five years? Yeah, what do you plan on doing in five years, living? So what do you plan on doing in five years? I like to hear it. But you say the guys are the guys saying that you're too aggressive. I just know I mean. Yeah. Are you nice to guys? Are you kind of like are you sound kind of mean when you talk when you're talking to them? Oh, retired. Okay, retired. Oh, okay. That's not bad. Yeah. Oh, what you got to do, make sure you find someone that's compatible. All right, compatible, just like you are. Make sure you find someone that's compatible. Compatible, just like you, okay? 
but not everybody ready to ready to retire at a certain age. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna retire and then I'm gonna but then I hope I be not got where I need to be at with YouTube. You know. Let's focus on this full time when I get, you know. What you want to, are you, are you going to retire in Florida? I already have my own house and money. I need a real man. Oh, -ho! well, she shut me up. Ooh, -hoo! Well, that's hard. A lot of guys say they want a real woman, but when it comes down where a where a real woman start to talking, you know, it's a different story. You know. Nobody don't want to be, nobody don't want, most guys don't want to be, most guys, I, I believe, don't want to be responsible. Don't want to be responsible for, for anything, because when you own your own house, you got to do housework. You know, you got to get the roof, got to get repaired, the siding, the mulch, um, um, what else got you to play Um, baseboards, all that stuff. Windows. You know, the house is not easy to uh, to keep up. You got to keep it up. You know, you can't you can't, you can't drag a foot with a house. If you know a house need new shingles after every ten years or whatever, twenty five years, you got to do shingles. You know, I'm not saying for him to get up and do it, but you know, you got to find somebody as a contractor to do it. You know. House is a lot of work, but you know me. I, I wouldn't care because I love to work. You know, I'm not a I'm not a project worker, but I love I love working around the house. You know, doing certain projects, making a flower bed, a garden. Okay, but yeah, it takes a real man. That's why I say it takes a real man to understand a woman. That's why I made a video about that. A real man. You understand a woman, you know what I'm saying? These guys you talk to, that's not saying they're not a man. They're a man, but maybe they're not ready to do that right now. Maybe they're not ready to, uh, you know, oh, wow, she wanted to retire in five years? Damn, you know? Maybe you want to retire and then run your own business out of your own house. Maybe you're not ready for that. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't need anything from a man but him being a man. I said, well, I, uh, like how? I do all the housework myself. Ooh! Now, I'm glad you mentioned that. What do you mean? All you just need him to be a man like what? How? You just need him to be a man as what? I don't need anything from a man but him being a man. All right, I got you. Uh, she I do all the house work myself. Now that's a confident, that's a confident bad woman. That's a definition of a bad chick. Uh, someone who's got her own house and stuff in order. Cause my my date that I date, she have her own place. She have a condominium. And one day she said she go buy a house. Hire someone. I mean, oh okay. 
Yeah, hire someone. I mean, you know, that's why guys are scared. I knew my hire somebody and then, um, you know, let them come fix the house or whatever shingles or whatever got to be done. You know, that's supposed to be the main responsibility. Find somebody. I know a lot of contractors up here in Connecticut. Yeah, so I know they'll give me a, a break if I ever own a house. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying I pay them less money, but they'll, they'll give me a break. You know, most of the contracts I know. I know a lot of contracts in Connecticut. Every day they come in, hey, Arthur. This guy will tell me, whenever you get a house, let me know. If anything you need to be done, I give you a discount. You know? I said, I ain't buying a house right now. I don't have one, but maybe one day. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> I don't know. Right now, I'm not worrying about it. But I will I will have something. You can rest assured. All right? Is it a condominium? Kind of I have that. That's still good. That he... Wants a wife, not a okay. That he wants a wife, not a mother or maid. Okay, now what do you mean by a mother or maid? Uh, you, you talking about you don't want nobody? Well, a wife is different. One who who laughs, talk with you, do things together, talk. You know, not a not a woman who cook, 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 cook. Do the do the do that. Wash my clothes. Do the do the do that. Wash my clothes. No, that's not. Yeah, that's a way. That's a mate. He that wants a wife, not a mother or maid. Okay, that sounds that's reasonable. You mean they spend quality time together? So you want you want a man that um you want a you want a you want you want this man to have a real wife, right? Correct, right? Living your best life. Yeah, I understand that part. You know? She said she want a, a man, a man that wants a real wife. That's what I want. I want me a real wife. I don't want a maid. I want a woman. I want a woman that uh, that's not that gonna treat me right. That's all I want. It's not gonna be mean, nasty, and rude. I, I can't deal with it. That's my ex-wife. I can't deal with that. That's why we're not together today. Nasty, rude, bitter. Yeah, I don't want no, I don't want no uh, uh, wife like that neither. I want someone who has their own life. Yeah, like how? Explain to me. Did you explain that to the guys when you say you want somebody to have their own life? Well, that's why I tell a guy when they mess with a chick. Uh, stop overtaxing a lady. No, that's the somebody. A woman wants you to have your own life, okay? And that's what most women uh, would like for a man to have. That's why I say I, I don't text this 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 date of mine because I want her to know that I got a life of my own, not someone who wants me to baby them. Yeah, yeah, that's right. You have your job, your own car, your own insurance, maybe your own place, whether it's apartment, or condominium, or whatever. All right, have your own stuff going on, okay? That's why I tell guys, when you meet a girl, stop blowing up her phone, and if you don't have a life of your own, she would think that you have, uh, if you don't have a life of your own, she would think you got nothing better to do but sit around, wait, to the, wait by the phone for her to call you or text you. Have a life of your own. Be busy, stay busy, be active, be on your purpose. Whatever you gotta do, go back to school or whatever you're doing, or, you want to run your own business. Have a life of your own. And when a woman sees that you have a life of your own, she'll be drawn to you. She'll, she'll respect you. Okay? She'll value your time. 
I tell God this all the time, and I'm glad living your best life I brought that up. You need to be an active, you need to have your own life going on, okay? All right, yes, yeah, she might get with you because she have her own house and all that, but guess what? She would like for you to have a life of your own. She don't need to babysit you, okay? The baby, look, I know we just met. Guess what? I got to go, I got to go, I got a business I'm running over here, or I got to go to this thing here every Saturday because they need me, okay? Stay busy. Why, why should you change? Okay, she wants you to have a life of your own. Okay, why you don't want to be up, you you don't want to be up on a woman all the time like you ain't got nothing better to do with with yourself. Okay, if if that if you want a woman if you want a woman to be irritated, be up on her twenty four seven like you ain't got a life of your own. Okay, that will irritate the hell out of her. That's what happened. That's what happened. Y'all get tired looking at one another because you don't have nothing going on in your life. She got a lot going on in her life. She got her own house. She don't need you to pay for anything. Okay? All she needs for you to be a man and not a boy. And she don't want you to be, to treat her as she's a maid uh, or his mom. Okay? You treat her as your wife. Why? Because she are your wife. Okay? Exactly living, needing their mama. That's right. They are not waiting for me to do things for them. They have their life in order, ready to care for me. Yeah, I got you. I got you. Life in order, meaning uh, bills paid off, whatever the reason is, okay? Bills paid off, got your life in order. Now, sometimes that kind of stuff can overbear people because not everybody have their life in order at the moment, so you got to understand that. You're not gonna, it, it's hard. It's very real. Now, you might disagree with me, okay? Be that as it may, all right? You might disagree with me, you and Phyllis and Donna and whoever in the chat. Not every guy going to have his life in order. Okay, I know how I know because the woman that I'm dating, this guy didn't have his life in order. And she's a beautiful sister. And guess what? She still attached to him. Why is she attached to him? Because he left his mark. Okay, even though he did cheat on her, she broke up with him. She told me before I started dating her, she said, you know, after all this idiot did to me, I still like him. Okay, he did something to her. He left a mark on her. Okay, but she knows sooner or later, and she got she got to forget about him because he's nothing but a player, okay. That's why she went out with me, right? So not all the time because you wish for these things, it go to come. You might be waiting another ten and fifteen years before this happens. And I'm not saying you won't find somebody who got their life in order, who's not acting like a boy, a mama's baby, a mama's boy. Okay? It's very rare you will find somebody who got their life in order. But we all have bills. We all got stuff that we got to pay. We all have debtors. That we have to pay still. So sometimes that can be overbearing to some men. Well, wow, damn, you know what? You're cute and all, but damn, 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 damn. You know, damn. You know, and, you know. I understand. I agree with living your best life. You don't want to. You don't want to babysit nobody. You don't want him to treat you as a maid or a mom or a, a, a mother or something like that. You should have your life in order. So when you do marry this woman, you put her in the house. Okay, you should have everything in order so when something do happen, you can take care of your wife. Okay, and I, I agree with Miss. I agree with living your best life. Okay, all right. You don't have to wait on her. Like say, uh, um, you need to do something. You don't have to wait on living your best life to do this. You don't have to ask her. You're your own man. Okay, you, let's say you want a new car. You don't have to ask her. You're your own damn man. If you feel like you need a new car, go get it. Well, we couple. Right. Some guys think, okay, all right, go ask my wife because it is the right thing to do. Okay, you don't want to, I don't know, you have joint bank account. You may not have that. But I think you should still let her know before you get in the car. That y'all came to the agreement. Okay, don't do it without running across her first. Show some respect. All right? All right? Because some guys, it might be too overbearing for them. And they can't take it. That's why they probably tell you you're too aggressive. Okay, some guys, are, a lot of guys are not ready for that. They can't handle that. That's real. That's some real stuff. That's real talk. That's real responsibility. She said, "I can't take those that want me to care for them. How you going to want a mama and be my husband? No, 
That's right. I agree with you. I agree. I, I agree with you. I agree with you living your best life. How you go? How you go be uh, 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 your wife's husband and then act like a mama's boy? Okay, that's why Paul said when I was a child, I spoke as a child. When I became a man, I put away childish things. Okay, you have to when you grown up to an adult, put away those childish things. Okay, put away that foolishness that you had when you was coming up. Now you're a real man. Okay, you got your woman, got your wife. Be a can-do type person. Be real. Be honest. Take care of your wife. Don't be a boy. Be a man. Okay? Nobody don't want to date a. Nobody don't want to be dating a man and, uh, and and raising a mama's boy. Okay. Be real with your wife. Be real with your wife. Okay. But what's gonna happen is relationship is not gonna last. She's you know divorcing you. Okay. I didn't want to say that, but she might end up divorcing you. Right. Well, it, it is very rare. I mean, you might it might be hard because uh I don't believe in joint money cause problem. Cause problem. Well, yeah, it called cause somebody took too much money out of that. You have your own money. So basically what you're looking for, you're looking for somebody who have his own bank account, you have your own bank account. So keep the bank account separate. If you think it will be a problem, but sometimes people will go into the bank and do that. Because you know what? Money separates couples. Okay? My ex-wife did that. And I said, look, I want a damn, I want my own damn bank account. I didn't want my bank account to be a joint to her. But later, we did have that joint account. I didn't win in there and took nothing out of it. She went in there more than I did. I didn't, I didn't need to. Because uh, I know what the situation was. She'll say, hey, babe, I took this out. I want to pay this bill. I said, okay, thanks for letting me know. And that's it. I ain't made it a big deal out of it. Some people make a big deal out of it. When you make a big deal out of it, you know, you might want a certain amount of, you might want a certain guy, and I'm talking with experience. I'm not telling you what somebody else told me. All right? Okay. When you get somebody, you find find somebody, and you decide to go join an account with him, he went out and he did something. He pays for stuff that you know here he paid for, right? Then he made your money short. He messed up your money in your bank account. Okay, people let money come between the relationship. That's the biggest problem in relationship and marriage. It's because of money reason. Because the uh, one didn't have enough money, but the other one depended on the other one because she made a certain amount of money, or he made a certain amount of money, and then money uh, caused problems in marriage. You know, Y'all. Or uh, one together as one, as the Bible says, y'all should come together as one. Now, I'm not making no excuse for nobody. That's the way it is. But the love of money is the root of all evil. First Timothy 6:10. No matter how you put it, money ain't everything. Money is here today. Okay, money is here today, and the next day, and the next day. We here today, and going tomorrow. Are we here today, and going in a few hours, a few minutes? So that's why when you die, you're not taking no money with you. You don't care how much money you got or wealth you got. Now, this don't mean to say, well, why are you talking about that? What I got to do with the problem I'm talking about? Because it's a fact. Okay, I understand you don't want no some. I understand you don't want you don't want a joint account with the guy who you might not trust because they might screw up your bank account and take money that they don't want to take. I wouldn't trust that neither. Okay, but this is the biggest problem on the face of this planet couple getting together to get married. Well, he got to have his own money, his own, his life in order. No, not everybody will have their life in order. No one's perfect. Because you got to realize at one point, your house wasn't in order neither. You know I'm saying? So don't be quickly judge people because they're working on themselves. Maybe they, it, sometimes it takes other people longer to get themselves in order than other people. Maybe it didn't took you that long to get your house in order. Okay? Maybe it's taking them a little longer than you are. Okay, I'm not saying settle for less. I'm not saying go with them because I'm saying this. No, that's not what I'm saying. I don't want nobody telling me what to do with mine. And I am not telling him what to do with his. You just decide who pays what bill. Okay, so like a 50-50. I got it. 50-50. All right. I got it. Right, so basically you want a man 
that can pay part of the bill. Okay, that's what it is. And some men believe, well, if we're going to be together, then it's, a, you know, supposed to be 50 50. Well, some people believe, well, you know what? Since we're together, we got a joint account. All right, let's pay this light bill. Let's pay this, uh, let's pay this, this car insurance and car payment. Okay, some people don't. That's what that's the big problem right there. Some people don't want that. Some people say, look, I don't want a man telling me what to do with my one my money. And I definitely don't want a woman telling me what to do with my money. Cause I can tell you what bills are paying. I'm not paying that bill, you pay that bill. Okay? That's how some people do now. You pay that bill, I pay that bill. But to me, that's still being separate. If you are a husband and a wife, okay, I know a man should pay the bill because the Bible said a desire the desire. Should be to the husband. Okay, I understand that. I understand that totally. But if you keep doing that, keep doing what you're doing, because I know you say you don't want nobody to tell you what bills are paid. Now, even though a man can't, that's how I tell you you got what a man, you got your own money, you got your own house, you pay this bill, and, you, and he pay that bill. Time, one time, sooner or later, he gonna get tired of it. Why? Because now your attitude sucks. Now you're telling him what he can't tell you. Okay, you need to be obedient to your husband. Cannot do it. You cannot order your husband around like he's an inmate and a child. You gotta understand that. And if you do that, live your best life. I'm, I'm talking about experience. I'm not, I'm not telling you something that somebody told me. If you do that, you are gonna cause problems. Right? The first thing, uh, you, you say you don't want a boy. Okay, I understand and I get it. Let's say I have a therapist. You got a guy who is financial secure, right? Got his his life in order. He got his own money just like you. Let's say I have a therapist. Right, y'all got together, you 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 got married, you live. Okay, well, look, you're not gonna tell me what to do with my money. I'm my own woman. This is my house. You move in with me, remember? You can't do that. Because the Bible said y'all two are one flesh. Now, what I recommend, a man should have his own place. Okay, his own place, and then move the light in. But if I ever get what I'm gonna do is I, I left my place for a woman. I will never do that again. Never. A man should never leave his place for a woman. Especially if, if, if you're not married to her, don't leave your place. Don't leave your damn apartment. Because one, nine times out of ten, y'all will get in an argument and then she will kick you out. Then you're gonna, you ain't got nowhere to go. Okay, but here's the thing I'm gonna get, I wanna get back to the top. Okay, and I'm talking with experience. I'm not talking about no goddamn relationship coach specialist. Okay, I'm talking about real talk. If you get a husband and he, let's say, have a third of that guy moving with you, all right, and you say, well, look, like you told me, and I understand, I respect your opinion. I'm not I'm not getting on your whatever. I respect your opinion. Okay, look, man, this is my money. Your money is your money. This is my money. Okay, but we husband and wife. So why you got to talk to me like that? That going to create problems. Okay, he's not going to go for that. Maybe he'll put up with it for a little bit, and then after a while you keep doing it. Guess what? He's just going to leave. He's just going to uh, get a divorce. Let's see what living your best life says. I've been there. I am not going there again. Not fighting about money. Okay, that's uh, cool, cool, cool now. Cool, cool, cool. Don't beat me up. But see, that's what I'm talking about living your best life. I know you're not fighting about money. I'm just, it's this, 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 this tug of war thing with you. You know, don't get mad at me and log off now. I just want you to listen to me. This tug of war thing. You know what I'm saying you can't do that. You, you ain't, you ain't, your, you ain't by yourself no more. You have a husband. Okay, now you say that you don't want a, a mama's boy, all right? You don't want somebody that who has to wait on you to do things, pay a bill. Or let's say I have a third of this guy, have his stuff together, right? Okay? And then you say, well, you know what? Guess what? You know what? I want you to pay this bill. I'm going to pay this bill. We're not, I'm not fighting over money. I'm just letting you know you need to pay this, I need, and I pay this. Okay? What that gonna cost? It might be okay for a while, maybe a year or two, a couple months. That's what gonna happen. Remember, uh, Donald was talking about why guys fall out of love with certain women. What gonna happen? He gonna get tired of it. He gonna get irritated. What gonna happen is his passion and the way he feel about you will driftfully drip away from you. Because right now, and I'm not saying you find no more money, but the way you making it sound like. They're going to do some internal damage to the guy, right? So not everybody can take that. Some people, they easily get offended. That's what I'm trying to say to you. Okay, they might get easily offended. And then what's going to happen if they are your husband, 
they're gonna sleep in the same bed, they're gonna start showing affection. Okay? They was their love will slowly but slowly start drifting away from you. All right, and then they go, they're not gonna then y'all not gonna be talking no more, y'all gonna be talking last. The reason why y'all talking last is because because of a bill. You know what I mean? And that's the biggest problem in marriage today. And not because of fighting over money, it's just over a certain bill. That shouldn't be an issue. God, you, what I'm saying to you, you're not you're not by yourself no more now, okay? Yeah, you're not you're not of yourself. You can't consider it only yourself no more because you have a husband. And the Bible said, wife, obey your husband. And then it tells the, the, the man, husband, uh, respect your wife okay, and be obedient to them. But so it's, it's on vice versa on both sides. So one, the one of another, you have to respect one another. Okay, that's all I'm saying. And, and I'm not disagreeing with you saying living your best life. I agree. Don't get mad at me now. Uh, I'm not disagreeing with you. I, I you know, I, I agree with you. You say I don't want a boy, uh, and I agree with that part. Yes, you don't want somebody. Uh, why should you pay all the bills? Where y'all to a couple, and he makes money. He got, you know, he makes a lot of money, and then say, hey, baby. Living, I got the light bill and the mortgage, okay? Or, baby, I got the, the taxes and the mortgage. Let's have a third one. Living your best life, do, do the lights, do the lights and whatever had to be paid or the car insurance, okay? Something like that on this check. Then the next check, baby, I got the, uh, I got this. I got the, uh, uh, the, the, uh, the, the shingles that we got. We need to use shingles in. Two more years, I'm gonna go buy that. I'm gonna go out and buy the buy the shingle, hire a contractor, put it in. I got that, and put a label. You know, okay, babe. Or the wife might say, "Oh, well, I tell you what, you pay for the label, and I get the shingle." You know, you you you, you max it out, you balance it out. Okay, you you balance it out. You know, I, and I'm not saying, and I and I'm not telling you to tell him what to buy, but y'all gotta come uh, come to a conclusion. You know. Saying, look, I, I pay for the label, but I gotta put the shingles on the on the uh house and then you pay you pay for the shingles for the cut for the contract to come, put it on the roof or whatever, put them on then put the roof uh, put the shingles on the roof. Okay, stuff like that. Cause I think most marriage falls into argument because one is trying to be masculine and then the other one try to be masculine and then you got it's like a tug of war. It's like a tug of war. Respect goes both ways. Yeah, <laughs> I know there. I know you gonna say something like that. Yeah, respect. so now that you say that, I, I understand. Right, you 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 both gotta respect one another. Okay, you can't just be uh be pushy and bossy, and it's not gonna work. Yeah, you can't be pushy and bossy. I'm talking about both sides. You cannot be pushy and bossy. Y'all need to work together as husband and wife as a team. Come to the conclusion. Okay, don't respect, don't disrespect one another. Okay, respect one another, right? Still love him. He's still supposed to love you too. Hug him, kiss him, whatever you got to do. Let him know that you still love him. You're not trying to be rude. But sometimes when a woman's, especially black brother, some black brother, they don't, they hate when a, a, a black girl, black sister stand up. And to them, uh, to a brother, from a sister, the black woman is being disrespectful, mean, and nasty. Always argument, argumenting, you know, like arguing with the guy. And that's why a lot of them say, "Well, I'm gonna go with the white woman," you know, because the black girl always want to argue. Okay, but that's not so. They just can't stand uh, the sister is able to able to uh, secure for herself and to provide for herself. Okay, so that's the that's their uh, insecurity, right, of the brothers, because the sister can handle her own business, she got her own place and got her own job, right? So like yeah, so uh, uh, the brother can't take it, all right? So they think the sister being rude. No, she's been a real sister, right? And she can handle her own business. And she, like living your best life, said she don't need no man to pay for her bill. She got her own bill. And she said all I want for him. Is to be a real man, right? And have a life of his own and don't have to wait for her to do anything, right? And that's basically what living your life says. 
Nah, and I don't blame I don't blame you for that. Live your best life. Okay, but try to be a little understanding when you talk to the next guy. All right, do you have that? Are you still dating that guy? Can I ask you a question? Are you still dating that guy? The one that you say you had a date? The one that uh, you told me one time that you had a, a drink date with him? A drink date? Did you went on your drink date? You went on your drink date, living your best life with that guy. Cause I remember last time you said you had a guy that you you like, and then um stuff like that. I know I ain't mean to be nosy, but uh, I remember you was telling me about that. So remember, just be understanding, living your uh, best life. Kind of tone it down a little bit. I, maybe you're not toning it down, and maybe you're being a little too uh, a little too rough. You gotta be easy, you know. You know, women sometimes because they see the guy, and I know sometimes guys. Sometimes act, act, act silly, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes you feel if I be rough with him, uh, he'll, he'll get the picture. But sometimes that'll run a guy off. So you got to be, uh, I'm not saying he's the only guy in the world, all right? They mad because you have things together. Yeah, I know. I understand that. Yeah. Yeah. I know guys like that. They mad. Yeah, the, the brother's mad because the sisters have their act in order and things in order and that's what most guys hate you know king i seen you in message okay i check it i will check it after i get off the live i see what you're saying and i uh i send it back to you okay thank you my lord d sub no we are done what? God, what do you do now? Tell me what do you do? What do you do to the guy? Jeez, woman. You want me to come down there and straighten you out? <laughs> All right. Hey, Phyllis, I'll read it when I get off. Thank you, dear. Living your best life. What did you do? Yeah, I uh, yeah I read the uh, email and I send it back to you. Okay, I think I sent you one earlier. Yeah, but I'm I'm gonna uh, read it. Soon I get off here, I'm gonna read it and I send you another one. Okay. Hey, live your best life. What do you do to mess it up with the guy? No, we are done. She said, no, we are done. What do you mean you're done? Phyllis Brown, my assignment as well. If I ask you my assignment as well, if I ask you purchase something, don't tell me I have enough. It pisses me off. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see. Yeah, most guys like to do that. Why? Wow, you got enough. Why? Why you ask me to purchase? Yeah, that's the wrong thing for a guy to do to a woman. Yeah, don't do that. That's uh. That's showing you don't want to spend no money. You're being a cheapskate. Most women don't like that. Yeah, don't don't tell a woman that. No, that's the wrong thing to do. Tell a woman that uh, what you don't have. Let 
Living your best life say, I tried to work things out, but he just isn't right for me. Oh, wow. What do you mean? What? What do you mean? Is it? What do you mean? Is it finance or he just not what he seems to be? I, I'm not asking a lot of questions. So you try to work things out, but he just ain't, he ain't, he isn't right for me. Okay, I got you. And Phyllis Brown said, my son side as well, if I ask you purchase something, don't tell me I have enough. That pisses me off. Yeah, I know. Nobody want to hear that. You sleepy? Huh? Right, I'm about to end the live in a minute. Take the paper down. Put that thing up. Yeah, so that's crazy. Can you bring it in there for me, baby? Come down in the garbage. Thank you. Honey. Love you. Yeah, live me best life. I understand. I tried to make it work, but it didn't work out. Sorry, it didn't work out. Apologize. Just keep following. Keep you. You'll find somebody. Get somebody that uh, we are. You know, some guys are not ready to take that step. They're uh, full responsibility, especially if you already have your house already. Some guys are just not ready. Take on that role as a main ward, supposed to take on a role and to pay for a bill. I hate to say that. No, he wants different things from life. Oh, okay. Yeah, and everybody, you got to find somebody that's compatible, as what well, kind of like in shooting the same direction that you are shooting at. You have a different. Goal and point of view, so it's not gonna work. That's like being incompatible, unequally yoked. Okay, so you gotta make sure somebody's compatible. Make sure they are. Make sure they are compatible. Just don't get with anybody because he seems good. Looks good. You don't want that. You know what I'm saying? Make sure it's compatible for you. And you don't want the same thing there as you want. If you don't want the same thing you want, then it's not it's not gonna work. Right? Yeah. Make sure those guys who you go out with and talk to them are compatible with what you want. Okay, make sure they want the same thing you want out of life. Smash the like button for King R70. I've been to the like for long. Give me one minute.
master of life, and he wants to be a he wants to be a consumer. I'm a okay intruder. Won't work. Yeah, that's two different things. It's not gonna work. Two separate units. Two separate people. Hold on. Move a bit. Huh? I'm here. He wants uh he wants to be a consumer for an intruder. Won't work. Yeah, that won't work. So anyway, guys, I'm gonna uh I'm gonna end this live pretty soon. I'm gonna end the live pretty soon. All right. And it's live. I live for three hours and twelve minutes and nine seconds. Uh, screw Marlene, how are you? Screw, you been here all this time? Screw nine two five thirty. Marlene, how are you doing? What in the world? Screw, you can't. I gotta check my email because uh, Phyllis Brown said she sent me an email. We're gonna uh, hook that up. Yeah. Hi, screw. I am finding you. Marlene, yeah, he was asking about you earlier. Where's Marlene? Where's Marlene? I don't usually call people by their first name, but I don't want to know your name. <laughs> I just want to know you as living your best life. That's all. all right. Um, hi, screw. I'm finding you. Yeah, networking. Yeah. I got my new iPhone 4, my iPhone XR. I've been live for three hours and 13 minutes and eight seconds. All right. You want to turn that on? Take this out. Yeah, thank you. Let me close them. Yes. Yeah, thank you guys for being in the chat. Yeah, three hours and 13 minutes and 50 seconds. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming into the live. I got to cut it down. Come on. Thank you for being in the chat. Bone of a uh, fly balloon. King, I don't read out loud. What is wrong? Oh, okay. I won't. Okay, I got you. Thank you, Phyllis. I won't. Well, yeah, you got to be on the same page. So if you're not on the same page. Yeah, if you're not on the same page with them, then uh, it's going to be a mess. What's on board? Yeah, 
You have to be on the same page with the other person. If you're not on the same page, right? Not on the same page. If you're not on the same page with them, then y'all will be y'all gonna be the, y'all gonna be on different terms. You could be a different opposite. The opposite. Okay, dear. Bye. Thanks for setting into the live. Let me help you with that. Thank you, uh, live your best life. Thank you, everybody, for sitting into the chat. Three hours and 16 minutes and nine seconds. All right. Thank you very much. I'll be going to see y'all tomorrow. Okay. Living your best life. Okay, everybody. Bye. Uh, Living your best life. Get the, get the, get the, uh, the blankets. Okay, living. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and end this live because I gotta get up. I gotta go to bed. I gotta go to work in the morning. Yeah, so thank you guys for your loyalty for life. For life. Hmm? What's wrong? Get the, get the, uh, the cover. Hmm? Bring your glasses and get the cover on. Sleep well, living your best life. Yeah, sleep well. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go to bed and I'm gonna sleep good, you know? Yeah, everybody sleep well. Have a good night. Have a good night. Thank you all for coming into the chat. Appreciate it. Thanks, Phyllis. Good night. Live your best life. Okay, King. Okay, King. All right. Bye. Sleep well. I will. Bye, Phyllis. Bye. Live your best life. And my man, man, uh, screw 92530. Have a good night, sir. Sleep good, okay? Bye, uh, bye screw. Sleep well. Yep. Now sleep good. Be good to one another. And remember, Support one another too. Okay. Been here two hours. Well, thank you, ma'am. I make sure I pay you back. Okay. When you go live on Sunday or whatever day. On Saturday, I can't be in the live because I work Saturday at seven to seven to four. Sometimes I miss your live. Now, if you go live, I let it run in the background, okay? I'm be, I'll be working, um I'll be working and watching over you all. Okay. Phyllis Brown, thank you very much. Mrs. Brown, bye, screw Donald and Phyllis. Bye, Donald. Donald's out of here already. She's been going over an hour ago, a half an hour ago. And Charles, yeah, Charles not in tonight, but he was in my live the other day on, on Monday. Yeah, I don't see him up in here, but yeah. But he comes in from time to time. Yeah. So, see y'all later. Peace. What kind of show are you talking about? I don't know. It might be closed. Eleven oh one. Eleven oh two. Eleven oh three. There might be. Why? You want to check it? Okay, everybody, I'm out. See you later. See you tomorrow. Bye.